All right. Good evening, everyone. Hey, how's Hopefully it going? Hopefully, the things are working. It looks like they are. I see. I see audio levels. I, what? I, I was what a happened? bit unsure about how things were. I, I was kind of rushing uh, uh, to get the the stream scheduled and live for for two reasons. One, my I have my HDMI stuff routed in a way that I think is going to be really good for the long term, but in the short term, my the way that it's plugged into my capture cards is a little bit strange. Um, partially because of this new HDMI 2.1 capture card. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a little funny on my current computer. And when I, you know, I'm going to have to build a new editing computer soon. And so that's going to, sw I'm going to swap the, the recording computer here for that. And that should solve all those problems. But for now, things are a little weird in terms of like how I would get audio to the stream. So hopefully I, th I think it's, I think it's okay. I think it's good. <laughs> okay. Also, I was like trying really, 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 really hard to 100% Super Mario Brothers wonder before the stream started. Cause I was this close. Jeez. Uh, it's For real. It's actually, uh, like a pretty reasonable 100%. Like it's not like super intense, like o o old people with no time like us can, can do it. <laughs> Which is great. Days? I think maybe, maybe some of the youngins with, you know, all the time in the world will be disappointed that, you know, I, to be clear, I did not 100%, 100% it. The only thing I have left to do is there's like these um, standees that you get that has something to do with online play, which I didn't do any of. Mm. Um, just like the characters in these different poses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I, I mean, have you even played it at all? I don't even know if you have it. We haven't even talked. We haven't talked about it at all. No, I mean, I, I, I got, I played through the first world okay. uh, with my son. Okay. And uh, I, I've been like unsure how multiplayer like works at all. Cause there's like a lot of scenarios that feel like multiplayer would be terrible in it. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, maybe, like maybe I'm wrong. I mean, thing. maybe I'm wrong. I mean, some scenarios, maybe it would make it easier because you can do like the whole bubble thing, I guess. Like I, or is it a bubble? I mean, I assume it, it's, is it. Yeah. You, you, they, yeah. They have to fly back and touch you. Okay. They can control it though. Okay. So then, then this probably, this probably manageable. In fact, it might make some things easier. So like the thing that I was trying so hard to do, there was like, after I got, everything there was like one final challenge and it was is like the hardest mario level i've ever played like it, it had three checkpoints like i was i was thinking it wasn't going to have checkpoints uh -huh. it had three checkpoints and it was like so hard <laughs> okay. uh, like i went into the level with like roughly 60 lives like give or take it might have been 50 something it might have been 60 something but i went with around that many lives and came out with 19 and keep in mind the level has a lot of coins so i was collecting coins and continuing to replenish mm -hmm. lives over the course of the level so I probably lost like cl close to a hundred lives in this one level. <laughs> that doesn't sound very fun, man. It it wasn't very fun. Like everything else, like the rest of the game is like not that hard. Like there was one special world level that gave me a little trouble, but outside of that, like it's pretty easy. I mean, I had one hundred percent of everything in most levels the first time I played through them, mm -hmm. and. uh, when I didn't most of the time, I just like went right back and like got like the coins I didn't get, or if I didn't touch the tip of the flagpole, um, or didn't find a secret exit, you know, I went back and did it immediately and it usually didn't take long to figure it out. Um, mm -hmm. 
But uh, the funniest thing is I had to look up one thing. It was like how to find the secret exit in level two. <laughs> level one, two. Like I went to that level so many times trying to figure out where the secret exit was. And I was kind of annoyed when I looked it up because I was so sure that I that it was something I had already tried. Mm-hmm. And it didn't work. Huh. I mean, I didn't even didn't realize there were secret exits on any levels. There are. And the way that you can tell when you like hit the, I think it's the L button to see like the level layout, like on the, mm-hmm. like just see the list of levels. Like there's a green check mark when you've done everything in the level. And if it like indicates you've done everything, but there's no green check mark, then it means there's a secret exit. Mm. So, um, Henry, that's Henry Clark saying, I'm tr- try. I'm I'm trying to unlock the last of the levels now too. So far, the special world level from World Two is the hardest Nintendo made level I've ever uh, played. The timed jumping one. What did you think of that? Oh, yeah. I I think I know which one you're talking about. That was pretty hard. But oh my gosh, you 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 know nothing. This this level that like that was nothing in comparison to what I just did. <laughs> It was insane. That was pretty tough, though. I mean, especially for someone who, like, has no sense of, like, musical timing. It was pretty difficult. There's several musical sorts of things in the game, which were sometimes a little challenging for me. But, um, but yeah, that last, last thing was insane. And, Henry, what, what you're thinking of... I don't think is what you're thinking you're heading towards is not what I just did. Uh, This was like after getting all of the, all of the seeds and all of the, uh, the purple coins. So yeah, it was, it was, it was crazy, crazy hard. Uh, But I did it. Uh, And so all I have to do now is I just have to find somewhere to like grind uh, the flower coins and then I can buy the rest of the standees. I've probably got like maybe 30, 30 or less to buy. Um, haven't gotten all the coins. Yeah, you do. Yeah. You need the coins. I, I got, I got everything most of the time. The first time I got through the level and if I didn't, I just went back and did it. So but it was fun. I mean, I had a, I had a, I had a great time uh, playing through the game. That, that last challenge, not necessarily that fun, but getting mm. through the game. Uh, How many world through. worlds are there? I mean, I felt like the first world took me a while. It w- it was a really large world. Wasn't I? I was surprised. It's like, and like, if you like go off the path and like find some of the optional levels and are stuff, the, the other ones aren't like that. Um, the first world is probably like the first and first, fourth worlds like first fourth and sixth worlds were probably the biggest like they they do vary in size quite a bit like world three is really small Mm -hmm. so i get there's like there's like seven worlds including one is like kind of like a central hub world like a hub world that you revisit multiple times but it's got its own levels um, well, and then there's the special world. So, th- so including the special world, there's eight worlds. Um, and they vary considerably in length, but yeah, I mean it, I mean, I don't know. Like I, um, I mean, I just took the weekend off and binged it. I felt like I needed it, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I, I mean, it's again, like, it's not like I spent like every waking moment of the weekend playing it either. Like, Mm-hmm. Uh, like, I don't know. I probably, probably played like five or so hours Friday, probably 10 or so hours yesterday. I mean, obviously that's a lot, but, um, and then like, I don't know, three or three or so today. It's like in the grand scheme of things. So a hundred percent, not yeah. not that bad. Not that bad. I mean, it's, yeah, it's yeah. It, you know, it's the first time in a super long time I've like gone for a hundred percent in a in a Mario game. Mm-hmm. So, 
Oh. So anyway, it, I thought that sounds it after... sounds nice. I mean, <laughs> sounds it sounds uh, it sounds enjoyable. Yeah. yeah, I got I got that, and I ended up getting Spider Man two because I just I felt like I wanted to play Spider Man two more. Yeah, well, I mean, you really liked the first one. Yeah, 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 and I I mean, just like watching uh, videos on both, I was like, you know, I still feel like I just want to play Spider Man. Mm. So uh, like I played through the, like the. Uh, the intro of that and then like we played through like a little bit of mario and uh i didn't play either yesterday yeah but and, you did uh, start spider-man yeah yeah i played through like the opening set piece yeah. and uh just like kind of just some basic like around the city stuff okay i mean really what i wanted to do is go over to brooklyn and see like how close it is like, like could you find your house? They have like where my house, where my apartment was before. Uh, but it's like a couple of blocks off. They like truncated it a little uh, bit. So there, there's just like fewer streets. Yeah. But it's somewhat, it feels somewhat realistic. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I felt like, you know, it's, it's good. I mean, they, it seems like they've like added a bunch. Um, Plays good. I mean, I, I like the. I like the uh, the first one a lot. So, Same and this is just Same taking thing. that, and it's just you know, it's just fun here. like traversal. Like they they added so many different like so many uh, more uh, um like ways to get around the city. Mm-hmm. So, um, it would be cool if if uh, <laughs> if, if you know the uh, my I could go to where my apartment was, but I can't. <laughs> Mr. Mr. D says, Corey, what have you found in in the game and you saw your old self sitting in that apartment? That would be pretty cool. That would be I mean, super I... creepy. Yes. You just be um, you just be leaning into a into a microphone going, Hey guys, I'm Corey. <laughs> yeah. I, like, I, I mean, like Star Fox. But I mean, wouldn't it be it'd be funny if Spider Man two somehow took place ten years ago? Yeah. <laughs> uh but yeah i mean it's uh it's pretty good it's pretty good i i i like it um you know like i don't know i, di- I didn't play either one as much as i'd like i'm i'm gonna ha- trying to get ahead on like videos for the channel like i have like over 10 minutes done of the year-end video um continuing to work on my setup tour and i have I'm helping try with a, a video. Well, the retro tank 4k and, video. Yeah. And, um, another video that's going to be kind of like a little side piece, uh, to the, um, to the, uh, the tour video. So yeah. I, I got a ton of time, like working on that stuff. I got like, a, I, that's, that's like what my spent most of my weekend doing. So it was, uh, it was good. So I, I'm envious of your, uh, um, weekend off of your, of your weekend but you know what i'm gonna be taking that week off between christmas and new year's it's gonna be i i know be i know I, I i probably won't be taking it entirely off but i'm gonna try to position myself that it won't be as stressful as most years mm-hmm. um but yeah i just i i just felt i needed a weekend off to to binge a game i haven't been able to do that in a long time so I, I took advantage while I could. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, before I get started here, I saw that uh, Enchilada Backloggery is a new member and said that I'm not sure why my subscription stopped, but I restarted. Uh, he, he's he's, a, he's an old friend of mine from way back in the day. We, we, uh, we lived near each other uh, back uh, in, in the Delaware days. <laughs> So thank you for that. Um, so I'm going to, and I'm not sure if I should do the widescreen or I don't know. I, I, I w- if I had time, I would have tried because I know this is this is Shimmer City. Um, does anyone know what Caravan Mode is? Anyone familiar with arcade arcade? Uh, I'm guessing stuff? Caravan Mode is kind of like a timed mode that you try to see how far you can get in. A certain, I mean, that's usually what what caravan modes are in shooters. 
I like see. it's like a timed mode to see how far you can get and how high of a score you can get. Uh oh, can we can we change these buttons? I don't uh How do we? Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm a so little I bit know tired. This is Shimmer I, City, so I, I wish I could have. Um, frame of the display. Okay. Uh, Zane's dad's saying I look tired uh, today, and I mean I just am. You know, like I, I'm feeling overwhelmed with the amount of stuff on my to-do list right now. That's really it. Uh, and we have like the speaking of which, uh, we have the uh, Music City Multicon in N Nashville this coming weekend. We'll both be there. Yep. Um, but it are ends we, on Sunday, and we got to drive Friday? back. Is that right? Friday or Thursday? Yeah, well, I mean we're driving on Friday. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I just, I just I couldn't remember if we were if we were staying starting Friday or starting Thursday, but I was pretty sure it was Friday. Yeah. And. Um, we, we come back on Sunday, uh, so there likely will not be a stream next week. Right. I, could, I can say with relative certainty that there won't be a stream next week. Well, yeah, because we'll be, we'll be driving back. Yeah. And it's like roughly like in the, in the middle of both of us. So we're both driving. Oh, weird. So, and, uh, I'm br I'm I'm bringing my family. My wife and kids are both coming. I uh, I don't know if did this happen last week. So my <laughs> did, I, did I talk about last week about how my my wife's back went out or was that uh, you didn't talk about it on the stream? I don't well, know. I don't think I don't think that it happened until like. It didn't get like discussed until like, uh, um, like until she went to the doctor and like really find out what was going on. Um, they, uh, uh, she, um, her back went out. She had had back surgery like a long, like years ago. Oh yeah, uh, I remember. Like you were in like the Caribbean or something, right? Uh, in Puerto Rico we were in and, uh, we went on this bus and her, she was having ba back problems at the time. And we went on this bus to go, uh, to go swimming with the, um, I need to turn like the bioluminescence like. algae. And, uh, it was, it was cool, but it was like on this like old school bus to get there and just like getting bounced around. And after we did that, like it, just was like, I guess, like really bad on my wife's back that she like collapsed. And we were like on on the island of Vieques in uh, in Puerto Rico and uh, in this hospital uh, where nobody really <laughs> spoke English. And uh, thankfully, we were there for a friend's wedding. And thankfully, the uh, their wedding planner like helped us out. It was like it was a real crazy situation. It almost feels like it never happened, uh, <laughs> because it was like that crazy. But um, I, I think you should like not use warps. Well, I I'm not even sure if there are anyway. But I I agree. I agree. Uh, I'm not even sure if they're there. So I mean, just as a quick aside, my one like experience kind of playing a bit of this. Uh, hang on, I want to see, should I switch to the 4-3? I guess the 4-3 mode lines up decently. Um, anyway, um, like I, the, the one time I played much of any of this was, um, there, uh, there's a, or there was a, a, small, a local game store around here and they said like, they'd give you like 20% off if you could get to like a certain point, maybe, maybe beat the game. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't, I don't remember exactly. Um, uh, and I was like, Oh, this will be easy. It can't be that different from 
Like I, in fact, at the time, I'm not even sure if I knew or maybe I forgot if it was yeah. any different from the original version. And like I was, I, I ran into trouble pretty quick. And it looks like I need to switch controllers. Huh. But anyway, your, your wife's back. Yeah, really quick, I want to read this uh, 499 from Robert Hernandez. Thank you. Uh, who said, says, uh, greetings from 32,000 feet, currently flying over United, flying on United over Indiana. And I'm loving the fact that I'm able to watch the stream. Happy Sunday, everybody. Wow, that's, so, that's impressive. I, I've never used internet on a plane before. Oh really? Mm -mm. I mean, I've used it. I mean, doesn't it like a, doesn't like it a little cost bit, like money? A free. Not always, but it did. It does sometimes. I'm pretty sure I got it on the flight to Japan, going there because I needed it to uh, access like my questions and stuff for uh, the interviews. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's um, that's cool. So I mean, you're like not too far from me, really. But but moving away at a at a rapid pace. <laughs> yeah. But thank you. Uh, anyways, you know we so my wife's back is like it's been pretty okay. Uh, these last, you know, like twelve years or whatever since that happened, and uh, I don't know. It just got really really bad where it was. It, she like it took her like forever to get out of bed. Like she couldn't like sit up to get out of the bed. Uh, so this was recently or back? No, no, this is like a few days ago. Okay. Um, it took like ten minutes for her to get out of bed, uh, like with my help. And um, I was like, "All right, you're you're like you're gonna go go to the doctor because this is ridiculous." Um, so she did that, and they put her on uh, muscle relaxers and. Um, and steroid for it. And she's like getting a lot better. Okay. So Thanks so she's going because I was wondering like if she was going to be able to to make it this this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yes. But I mean, they're not going to spend the whole time at the con. They're going to like go into Nashville proper and Oh, sure. do some stuff. And I see um I I'm sure he's still here is that that uh uh, Dustin Kramer's in the chat and he's going, he's going to be coming too. Oh, cool. Cool. I mean, I, I, I thought there was a chance he might come, but I, I wasn't aware that, that he might. Yeah. And along with, uh, I think his, his brother-in-law, I think is coming as well. So that'd be very cool. We just got married. I think. Um, uh, I, I saw someone in the chat. I think it was, uh, was it Kevin Simmerman said, uh, is Mario supposed to, uh, it's supposed to be bright orange and, and yellow in this. And so, you know, this is not my preferred NES color palette, but for this, I think it's appropriate uh, to use uh, the Play Choice 10 palette. Uh, I mean, of course, I could just as easily play this on Mr. or a real NES. Um, but, you know, th this was not a Play Choice 10, of course, but it was the same hardware, essentially. Um, where it used Nintendo's RGB color palette mm. they, that they had for their ar uh, arcade machines back in the day. Um, and it's very garish, you know. Yeah. Uh, yellows are, uh, in particular, are, are way too bright. Um, so yeah, that's, that's just, that's how this is. This is not all the, my preferred palette, but this is the palette that you would have seen on the arcade screen back in the day mm. so it, it's still the weirdest thing to me that there are nintendo games published by hamsters arcade archives like i i can't imagine the deal that went through for that didn't they also do that one uh airplane game or something yeah, like that i think so that was like not officially released or something like that. Yeah, yeah. And I think they had to like dig it out in Nintendo's archives or something. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what it was called though. Henry Clark says, "Was that Stream Freeze me or the stream?" No, it looks looks okay here. Um, yes, uh, Chris Cavell. The uh, back back issues are definitely arduous, but thankfully. 
things have been okay since she had surgery years ago. Because she had, uh, um, they like cut part of like one of the discs out. It was like a ball jean disc and they had to like cut it. Sky Skipper, that's it, yes. That's, that is the game. But, I mean, it's, it's always hard hard to say because, you know, if she was, like, always feeling like it, if it had hurt, she had got, would went to a chiropractor. And, I mean, I've never been to a chiropractor. I mean, I've never really had back issues. But also, like, you know, some some people would say that, that chiropractors are uh, not, not the best That's... for you. <laughs> So yeah, I've, I've I've heard that though I can't claim to know the details. But, yeah. Right. But uh, that was what happened. I think that um, you know it was. Hey, I'm I'm thing here. Okay. So why why are you? Okay. Alright, that's what we're gonna do? Yeah. Alright, um. <laughs> it's a key. I know. I, also, I see that. I also got a tag. After playing Super Mario Wonder all weekend, it's 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 a little weird, uh. <laughs> it's a little weird getting, um. Like, getting power ups, and it's like, oh, there's really no point to getting that. <laughs> Because like I'm I got I'm used to having the backup power up. Uh, but yes, I mean people will say, some people will say that that uh, chiropractors are good. Others will say that they're bad. But I've never been been to one, so I can't really say myself. So I will tell you that you know she had was having problems and I think that she was getting better and then she went to a chiropractor again uh, and they that the chiropractor made it made it worse this time oh great but that's that it's it's okay she's doing better now say um I mean, I've been lucky to not really have any any back problems. Knock on wood. I mean, you've complained here and there, but nothing yeah, like that. Yeah, but just chronic, like stiffness from like, you know. And that's like really just my own fault for not stretching as much as I used to. But, you know, some days are better than, than others. Um, but yeah, I mean, that, so that happened, um, uh, God, it must have been, like, Tuesday, I, I think, that we went, maybe it was Monday, because she didn't have, a, like, that was the day I think I, like, really started to be like, we gotta do something, because this is, like, not getting any better. Um, now Dustin's been married for a long time. I think his his stepbrother just got married. I do I do love massages though. Like I, I don't think that that doesn't count. I I love to get massages. Here comes Monty now with his with his Spider Man mask on. Huh? I, hear, I think I hear Monty from now with this. I this I can't I can't hear you. Mask. Oh, it's 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 there. Yeah. Okay. I I don't I don't understand. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't think you can see that anyway. That's why. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. To 370 people right now. 
Okay. All right. All right. Hey. I get it. We get it. We get it. We don't need to hear the sounds. Yeah, but what if he says that? You've 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 made your point, I think. For tonight. Okay. <laughs> Talk. If um, if it uh, the the Music City Multicon, you know, being so close to to Halloween, if more people might be inclined to oh, I'm sure to to be dressed up just because it's like oh, yeah, well, I, I'm, I'm, sure. I'm dressing up for Halloween anyway. Yes, yeah. I mean, I think that's going to be the case. Um, so my, my my son is being is not at the Multicon, but for for Halloween, he's uh, he's he's. Dress up as a chicken nugget. <laughs> uh, my wife made this gigantic chicken nugget costume for him. It's actually kind of amazing. Oh yeah, the, yeah that, that was his request. This, this he wanted fabric that nugget. had like a print of chicken nugget, and she like found has this like big uh, like foam thing that she like encased it in this fabric, and then it like goes all the way around him. There's arms for his, holes for his arms. And then you tie it in the back. It's kind of amazing. And uh, and Nelly is being being uh, ketchup. <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, hey. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not. Hey. I know. I know that you want to check it out, but never know. Okay. Three hundred seventy people right now. Right. <laughs> yes, we see ya. We see ya. We see ya. Um, that for for some reason that 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 makes me think like last time I was at KFC, I saw some like uh. I saw some sort of uh, like <laughs> advertisement for, for like a, a kid's meal. And yeah. It, it has this like, I, I, I assume it's like a chicken nugget or something. It's like, it's like this cartoon chicken nugget. And it, it like, but it looks like a soggy meatball. And it's oh. like, it's like got this like really stupid face on it. Does anyone in the chat know what I'm talking about? Like it's like a kids KFC kids meal. It, it, it like the chicken nugget looks like a soggy meatball. It's just like the most unappealing <laughs> looking character for advertising mm. food that, that I can think KFC. of. You nugget. It's a uh, derogatory UK term, I guess. Huh? Do, do they not call chicken nuggets chicken nuggets there? Oh, I don't know. I do not know, but the the, the costume is pretty great. Um, yeah, it was. Uh, uh, it's it's gonna be a big hit, I think. He has a habit of like, like picking some good costumes. Yeah. Yeah, and it's just like they're the kind of costumes that uh, that my wife ends up ends up making. Then, because she's like, "Oh, I." That sounds fun to make. Yeah. <laughs> well, what? What was? I, she, I think she likes the problem solving of of trying to make those costumes. <laughs> um. But I had the uh, the distinct honor. Is anybody? Let's. I'm curious if anybody else in the. Uh, Why am I? In the chat. Failing to jump there. I, yeah, what's going on? Is it lag or something? It, I, I do think there is a bit more lag in this than... Yeah, someone was saying that that this is it's a lot laggier. Yeah. But I, I could play this on Mr., but I still feel... I feel compelled to play this version just because it's the one I have. Um... 
last night I went to went to see the uh, the, the the Taylor Swift movie with my daughter. And uh, what the heck is going on there? Well, that's a hard. Again. I know that's a. I know that's a hard jump anyway. Mm. Uh. So yeah, we went to see that the three-hour Taylor Swift concert movie, and it was it was real good. I thought. I never heard of it. Oh. Oh, I can insert a coin. Hey, continue. You no. Know. I, I have to play. I have to play by backloggery arcade rules. Okay. Um, so I've earned one one credit. It was. I thought it was like it was pretty good. What I think is so interesting is like just basically the whole story behind it about how she like. I mean, one of the reasons I wanted to see it is because I feel like, in a way, it's like kind of a culturally significant event. Because I can't think of another situation where a mu a music a musician was like so popular worldwide so consistently that I don't think that we've like experienced anything like this since like Michael Jackson and I think it's kind of like it's very very interesting and you know like I just want to be a part of it you know I, I couldn't I mean obviously Taylor Swift is a name I know but I couldn't I couldn't have told you the first thing about it. I couldn't okay. have told well, you I, mean, I couldn't have told you that she was like on that tier of popularity oh yeah i mean it's like it's like i just don't know these things. michael jackson levels and like other than like i nobody else in our in our lifetime in you and i's lifetime besides michael jackson is like has even cut like was even remotely as close to this it's just like i just felt like you know it's kind of a culturally significant thing um and you know, like I, like, I are you saying it was a concert that is a movie? It's like not a movie movie. It's it is it is a movie. Um, but it's also it's a, it's a movie of her the concert that she is like touring with right now. Well, that, that, which like goes that, through like ten years sense. of like her albums or something like that. So it's but it's a big deal because like this is like these concerts have been like like a gigantic deal like so big that uh if people couldn't get tickets for it they've been gathering outside of these like stadiums and just like listening to it and it's been like it's been a big deal like she's playing like three hour shows three and a half hour shows like multiple nights in like different places like all over the world and she's been at it for a long time it's just it's just really really fascinating not uh, big enough that i would have known that though but that's not saying much. <laughs> but I mean, like, I when was last time much. like I, I'm, I'm read I'm, news. I'm just kidding. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not I mean, kidding. Have you, have you looked at a, at a news site like poking. at all? I'm huh? curious. When was the last time you like looked at the news? <laughs> I mean, like that stuff I mean, just doesn't doesn't enter like stuff about like popular culture just like doesn't enter my sphere. Or, right, but or I mean, if it does, I, I, feel like, I just like glosses even, over it. I just don't know these things. Yeah, but I mean, I just think that, like, it. it I mean, why? Why would? Why would I like click on an article about a musician? I mean, I don't care about musicians. Well, I feel like you would have just like seen her mention. Oh, some, oh like, sure. I'm not saying I've never heard of her name. Of course, I, I of course I know who she is. I know that, or I mean, I don't know who she is, but I, I, I know her name, right? Like, but okay. do I know? Do I know anything about her or her music or what song specifically she's famous for? No. Have I probably overheard her songs at a restaurant? Almost definitely. But like, I just don't connect those dots, and I don't, I don't care to. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I mean, it's, it's, I, it's, I, it's, I don't mean that as, a as, as like event. derogatory or anything. I'm just saying, right, like, right. I'm more, no, poking, I'm more poking fun at myself and my, you know, my living on just the total outskirts of stuff that normal people care about. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't. I just. I don't care. I don't know, and I'm not ashamed that I don't know. <laughs> well, even 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 still, like it was like 
so these concepts were a big deal, right? Like, right. like, enormous, an enormous deal. And what she did is she made a film of like, like by editing three nights in a row or something like in Los Angeles, like at the end of like the North American part of this tour and release it as a film. And the thing is, is that she had like, like her people or whatever, like, like they filmed it. It's like beautifully shot. Uh, and like edited it and like went to like the s different studios and say like we want to release this here's this finished film and they're all like oh I don't know I don't know if I want to do that if we want to do that and it's like the dumbest thing ever so everyone passed on it and she was like you know what? I'm just going to do it myself and she went straight to the uh, like to AMC theaters and said I want you to do this like I want to I will pay you to like put this in your theaters and it like immediately became like the most successful concert film of all time in one weekend. I mean, I mean it I've, made never even, I've never even heard of the concept of a concert film, like released theatrically. I've never heard of that. Oh, it's, I mean, it's been a thing for a long time, but it's a. Uh, I don't doubt it is. I'm, I just, I, I've never heard of it. So, um,. But it's just like really interesting because she like totally like went outside of like the uh, like the studio systems to do yeah, it that, that, I mean, herself. That is, that's pretty interesting. And, I can understand. You know, I like, mean, I, you, you say it's the dumbest thing ever, but and it in terms of them making money, it it, it it most certainly is. But I can understand why. Like, I'm just confused. I'm like, well, that that doesn't sound like a movie. Why would that be in theaters? You know? Oh, I, I no, didn't get no, it. Maybe, is, maybe like, movie studio execs are as out of touch as I am. But I think that it's like a, like I don't understand like how they could like not even consider it. It does like it's just like it's it's dumb. It's 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 really dumb on their part. Uh, it, and no, it obviously was. I, anybody who like has half a brain could tell them that it was probably that it was like that was a dumb move. Um, you know, but uh, it's just it made a hundred. Like thirty six million dollars in one weekend, wow! And that's like with elevated prices because like they she they charged a little bit more for it. Oh, uh, but it's it's what it's cool about it is like it's this three hour film and it's like the entire concert basically. So all these people that couldn't afford to get these tickets and stuff can go to this and it, and like they they mix the like the like the atmos sound in such a way that it it's the way that it, it kind of like envelops you in the whole experience it, it sounds like you're there it's pretty cool yeah oh come on but it's cool like i mean i thought it was like really well really well done So, I mean, it's, it's cool. Cool. Uh, I mean, like, I wanted to see it, but I wasn't going to, like, go by myself or anything like that. Um, but it's, you know, <laughs> at, like, 7 o'clock last night, my daughter's like, oh, can we can we go? I'm like, oh, yeah, we'll go right now. We'll go, <laughs> or, like, at 8 o'clock, and we just did. Eight o'clock cool. and it was a three-hour movie. Mm hmm. I got home at like midnight. We didn't see it in AMC. I saw it at a Regal. Like they they expanded to other theaters when all like all the other showings sold out. What am I doing? <laughs> I just you know. Whatever, like I, I just, I just think it's like really interesting to, to see, and you know, like I wish that they had uh, the um, the restoration of Talking Heads "Stop Making Sense" that like re-released, which is like a lot of people say is the best concert film of all time. Uh, it just got remastered in 4K, but Losing it was like it. a super limited release. And I wish that I that had come to my my theater. I would have seen that too. Um. <laughs> I 
There we go, Madanshi with with the uh, with the sensible take. It's more fun to have. It's more fun to have fun. It's okay to like things outside of your normal demographic. It's also cool to get swept up in a cultural moment. Well, I mean, I I, I can relate to that in the sense of like, I always feel a little left out when like a new. Right, here, here we go. We got to see it. Like Monty, put the gun down so we can see you. I've been talking about your. You guys want to see the chicken nugget? Sure. Okay. Big room. All right. Hey. I am chicken. What? Embrace my power in your soul. Uh, we can't really see it too well. We sort of can. That is. Uh, that Nothing is indeed come right impressive. Here. I cannot be here. No. Yeah. Alright, can you slide over for him? It'd be a great time to take a screenshot. <laughs> you're, just, you're just getting all the clues. Yeah, I'm not playing. Oh. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh 3-1. I remember that. Yeah, get the superstar. Why do they embrace you? Yes. Worship my chicken nugget power. All right, we good? All right. All right, let's like, come on, can I need to do this? Like, almost annoying stuff. Yeah. Another firefly. Okay, Are you, is that is this what you're gonna do? Yeah, I'm just gonna stay here. Right? <laughs> just gonna stay here this whole time. This should be a skin in Fortnite. This is, all right, all right, come on. Come on. Wait a that's, that's like... Hey, I don't think so. I, I think we're good. We're probably good, guys. Probably good. Chicken nugget boot. Boot? Um, I should have done that. Okay. Aria. This should be a skin in Fortnite. Okay, yes. Any of you play Fortnite? Aria, please. please. I know. I don't think it's gonna talk though. Big enough for my face. Well, my dog's gonna be. That's how it's catch up. So. Yeah. My life in nuggets. Oh my gosh! Yes. <laughs> the Spider-Man mask talks about it. Nuggets. Uncle in a nug. Here, here comes mom. All right. Happy Halloween. Yes. Yes. Alright. Never played We're good. Let's see. So you did vibes. Yeah. yeah, guys. Strong. There you go. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. There we go. But yes, as I was. <laughs> <laughs> as I was, uh, as I was saying, I, I can understand the getting swept up in a cultural moment thing in the sense that, like, when like a new Street Fighter game comes out, like, I, I feel left out, you know. Like it's like I, 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 it's like I want to take part in that moment, right? But like, mm -hmm. I just don't enjoy playing those games so there's no point in me buying it but you know i i feel i it it, it does that feels like in my world it feels like a big moment but just not one that that i care about mm -hmm. but i wish i did but i don't <laughs> well that's all right that's all right i mean there's plenty that i don't think about either. <laughs> There's five dollars from Ghostlight. Thank you. Saying, what are your thoughts on Super Mario Brothers Wonder removing the a timer and the scorekeeper? No one seems to be talking about it. Oh, I I think it's a great move. Uh, 
I don't care about either of those things at all. You know, they're they're just leftovers from arcade days. I mean, even though Super Mario Brothers was not an arcade. This was an arcade game. Super Mario Brothers was not. Um, but that's just that's just how video games were. You had mm -hmm. elements like that. Um so uh I I just I, I I don't think those made sense to continue uh keeping them as part of Super Mario. Um I, 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 I appreciated, especially since like a lot of the fun of the game I think is, you know, in collecting all of the items in each level. Um, you know, I, I almost in, in some ways think of it as more of like a follow up to Yoshi's Island than anything else. And, you know, Why that's that? a game that doesn't have either of those elements either, right? Mm -hmm. So, you like, think the game feels like I, I didn't think it felt, felt like well, it doesn't Island. feel like Yoshi's Island in terms of like mechanics, but it feels like it in terms of like. I think exploration and collecting items and stuff like that. Like I would, I mean, I, I remember you, you know, you said like you just didn't see the difference between, you know, in, in the pre-release period, you were saying you didn't really see the difference between like new Super Mario Brothers. And oh yeah. But I mean, playing it, it's like, it's very apparent playing it, but like in that, that direct that they did, I felt like it. Well, I didn't, I didn't watch like the dedicated direct. Like I, I right. only watched, um, like I only saw like the reveal trailer and then I kind of did a media blackout on it. Um, but, uh, but anyway, um, you know, cause I, 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 you know, I was like, well, this, this is going to be really cool. And it seems like a game where they've got like a lot of like really crazy stuff going on. It would be fun to be surprised by it. Right. Yeah. So. You know, I, I I didn't look at anything about the game after that first reveal trailer. Um, right. But like, having played it, I would align it. Like, if you were to have like this spectrum of Mario games, and you know, kind of have games that are like more similar or, or more dissimilar from each other, like along this spectrum, I would I would say that. Um, I would put Super Mario Wonder closer to like 3D World and 3D Land than I would like the new Super Mario Brothers game. Yeah, well, I mean, those were, you know, essentially like the original Mario games, like put into like a in, in the 3D essentially. Right, right, right. right. And, but and and two, you know, they've got the exploration aspect. All right, I've officially made progress. I've earned to have three coins now. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Um, so, yeah, that's that's how I would categorize it. Like, I think... Because, again, like, the, the exploration and discovery, I think, aspect of it plays <laughs> plays a big, a big role. Um, and there's, like... Um, there's, like coins to find in the new Super Mario Brothers games and stuff like that too but mm. um, you know so it's, it's not entirely like that but um, I thought I thought it was really good I, I you know in fact I say like I would put it closer to Super Mario 3D Land I, I mean that just in terms of like what what is the game like right not necessarily in terms of like how much I like it like I, I'm kind of I literally just fell through that lift like, you, did you see that? No, I... I, I like, just... I saw you die, but I didn't see you fall right through. Uh, can I just say, like, the... The only thing that I found myself, like, not liking about Mario Wonder, and, like... It... Confuses me. Because, like, the rest of it is, is so good. It's like, I, I have no idea what they were thinking with that... That new fireball sound effect. Oh, you know what's funny? Like it almost sounds like it's like screwed up. It's like it's like it, well, it sounds like it sounds like rubber, like or something like like something rubbing against rubber. Like John was talking to me about it, and like he he loves that sound. Like he, he like, just I don't, like, I don't mind a general, lot of the other like, ones, but I feel like the sounds are refreshed. That sound like I wouldn't say I hate it or anything, but I think it is a little strange. I love the jump sound. 
Yeah, can I just say also that the music sounds like the music in the uh, Alex Kidd and Miracle World remake? Oh, does? I mean, I don't remember how that sounds at all. It sounds like they ripped off Alex Kidd. <laughs> like oh that kind of, like that guitar, like that little, little guitar. Sound. Oh boy, I, I, might, I might need to make some notes here. Let's make let's make notes. Um, I do so because this is gonna be a a, a a maze castle. And unfortunately, unlike the Super Nintendo version, uh, I'm not going to have I'm not gonna have a sound effect to tell me I did good. Oh, it just seems the top was was it? Whoa! Whoops. Yeah, I mean, I feel like even though like the Whoa. the voices are different, when I, as soon as I heard the music and like how it has like that like that sound like that uh, that voice sample. It's not as annoying as it is in the new games, but it's like, ugh, I, I just don't like that sound. What was, oh, you mean that, bah, bah, that sound? Yeah, oh. I don't, I don't hate that, but I, I don't love it either. Okay. Um, I should be able to continue, right? Uh, Mario's voice, uh, I mean, like, it sounds like mostly the same. I do not particularly care for the, uh, the the term wowie zowie. <laughs> I kind of like I kind of like that. <laughs> I kind of like wowie zowie. Hmm. All right. Well, I mean, that's fine. I mean, it's only when you get the elephant anyway. Like, I'm actually surprised, like, how to the the extent that the elephant is a thing, though. Like, like I. Like, I mean, again, having just watched that initial trailer, like, I kind of just assumed it would be, like, something that happens a couple of times in the game, but it's, like... Yeah, it's, it's like a full-on power-up, and it, it feels like... It's, like, one of your main power-ups, yeah. Yeah. It seems, like, kind of weird as a full-on power-up. It'd be funnier if it was, like, like you know, like, the frog suit. If it was, like, an elephant suit. So, like, becoming an elephant. Yeah, that, that's, like... That's kind of a first, isn't it? Like, I can't yeah, think off the top of my head of, like, Mario, like, else. becoming another animal. It's it's a yeah. little weird, but I don't, I don't, I don't mind it. But, um, but I love the jump sound effect. I mean, it's very reminiscent of the NES sound, more so than, like, the Super Nintendo sound. But it's like, like, it sounds like, like a pluck of an actual, like, sh string instrument, right? Yeah. Like what is my favorite thing a character has ever yelled in a game? <laughs> um, a, a cool decision. Yeah, maybe cool decision. Or, or that's good. Yeah, I can't. I can't do it. It's like not. Or that's disgusting. Or yeah, that's a good one. Chicken. Or I'm interested in this. Um. There's a 9.99 from David Fuentes. Thank you. Thank you. Saying which uh, Super Mario Brothers version do you prefer the most, uh, console or arcade? I oh. know it's the CR no, it's, it's the arcade because of the color palette. Uh, I read on Wikipedia that the uh, FDS Super Mario 2 got inspiration from the arcade version. Yeah. So th this is, I mean, this this is a version of the game I've never really played through. Um, it's this is versus Super Mario Brothers. It's it's a different game than the original, and it's a different game from. Super Mario Brothers 2 slash Lost Levels. It's kind of like there's parts of them mashed up in this. Although yeah. I think it's closest overall to the original. I don't know what happens after 8-4. Like if there's like a hard loop or if there's like different, le completely different levels like there is in Lost Levels. I, I don't I don't know. Um, and this is not my preferred color palette by any means. Um, but I'm playing with this color palette because it is is the arcade game so it makes sense so this is not you know if, if you were to play on a play choice 10 you would also have this color palette but uh you'd be playing the real super mario brothers um on a play choice 10 
Uh, this, yeah. this is not, this is versus Super Mario Brothers. It's a completely, well, it's not a completely different game, but it's a mostly different game that's, it's a lot harder than the NES game, but I don't know <laughs> if it's as hard as Lost Levels because I haven't gotten to the end. But yeah, it's it's not easy. Yeah. I mean, I can get behind any yelling of the words get ready in in any game. And like in like in Space Harrier. Like Wait, that, what that's about my get favorite. Ready? Just like you know, I, I can get behind any kind of voice sample that is, that says "get ready." Mm. How, how do you feel about the flowers in Super Mario Wonder? Like um, talking flowers. Uh, I mean, I don't really care either way. I mean, yeah, I've, I've considered turning them off, but at the same time, like it's part of the experience. Yeah, but also like. It doesn't enhance, certainly enhance anything for me. Uh, yeah, it feels it, I, like I'm, I'm relatively indifferent. Yeah. So four, four, you only have to take the top, and that, it's that simple. So that's that's a lot easier than four, four in the original game, actually, in terms of like the maze aspect, anyway. Um. Uh, Joshua Eichert has been a member for eight months. Thank you. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> Asking, what are your thoughts on the Analog 3D announcement? Oh, yeah. I I'm a little surprised they're calling it Analog 3D. Yeah. It's just in 64. Like, I don't understand why they couldn't go for Analog 64. Like, I guess they might have yeah. been afraid of Nintendo, but I, I, I feel like that's general enough that they, they could have been okay with that. I feel like they could have gotten away with calling it Analog 64. Because, like, Analog 3D, like, kind of gives this implication, like, oh, it's going to be, like, Saturn and, and PlayStation and N64. Yeah, I mean, that's what I would think it would be with that name. It seems weird that that's what it is, um, I think. But, I agree. I mean, I'm definitely, uh, definitely intrigued. I think they're going to need to clarify pretty soon, though, like what the games are actually going to look out like because all of these websites are going to be reporting like, oh, you could play N64 games in 4K. And I like kind of severely doubt that 4K means what they think it means. <laughs> like, yeah, it, yeah. Uh, like if it, if it means that they need, they need to clarify and set expectations. Yeah. Before people are like seriously let down. Now let me also clarify I, you know, I, I generally prefer playing N64 games and, and PS1 games and what am I doing? What am I doing? And stuff For, like that. So, I, I generally prefer playing in their original resolution. Um, yeah. Oh man, this is going to end badly. Um, I, I generally prefer playing them in their original resolution because I just feel like it creates a more cohesive image. You know, everyone's making fun of Mario's like low level of detail uh ugh. I was gonna see if I could just rush it I think there's a chance you could I was gonna see if I you know uh people, people were complaining about oh I still got a life um people were all making fun of Mario's low level of detail model when you know Super Mario 3D All-Stars came out well I mean guess what like you don't you don't see that in, on N64 because, and that's going to be tough if I'm not, if I don't have, if I can't be big. Okay, so I've got, I'm going to keep track here. I've got, I've got three, three quarters. I've got up to five, two. I don't like I, I, I it's I'm kind of ambivalent because like you know N64 is like far from my favorite system sure. in general. I'm just like, wait, why is anyone getting burned out on like announcement of things and then just like not showing anything of it? 
You know what I mean? Uh, like, I'm just like, I'm getting kind of burned out on like. Yeah. Like, I, announcements I, of vaporware. Announcement of announcement. Yeah. Or just like, <laughs> no announcements of things that they're just like not even showing it. Like this thing is coming, but we're not going to show you anything. You know what? We're going to show you like a tiny little silhouette of like a, a controller. I'm, I'm going to try Mister and see if it, see if it And lags. it just, it, it feels like we're in this, this point in time where there's like so much good stuff coming out, but also just like so many, so ma many announcements are reaction to the release of good stuff. Mm. Oh, you're going to try it on here? To yeah, see I'm going to try it on Mr. Just see if it feels less laggy. Because I do think the lag was messing with me a bit. Yeah. I just, I just, I just feel like there's just so much stuff. Like, either, like, in the pipeline or coming. It's just like, and it's even, like, it's game releases, too. I mean, like I said before, like, I've had pre-orders for home. games for... Two and a half years, I still don't have that stupid demon throttle. And I pre-ordered it in in uh, July of 2021. It's just, you know, it's just uh, it's just exhausting, I think. And I don't know. Like, I, like I, I sometimes wonder if I'm just like if I'm just getting burned out on it all and I kind of feel like, like I am a little bit. No. So you got demon throttle ages ago because I pre-ordered it along with like bro force, which just keeps on getting kept on getting delayed or just like disappeared. I know it's poor, poor me. So many good things coming out and it's true. You know, it's just, it's just, I don't know. It's just, you know, we're always moving on to this next, the next thing. Then there's Metal Gear coming out on on uh, Tuesday, and you know, like I'm just really curious to see like what that's going to even be like. I mean, I'm, I don't know oh, if I'm, I, I'm, I'm like, I. I... I mean, I haven't, I'm, I'm like not planning to buy it. I like, I'm more like curious, like how it's. I, I do have it pre-ordered. I'm just like curious what it's gonna be like. PS5 version. Yeah. I, I, I feel like it's feel probably like it's not partially gonna be... gonna be like emulation of like the PS3 360 version. Like I don't know that. I mean, it's just like another situation where I feel like it's. Uh, um. I'm just, I'm just, I'm curious to see like what it's gonna be like more so than I am like and actually like playing it. Yeah, hearing bad things. I mean, I'm just like I've, I'm, I'm curious because I mean it, 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 it I mean we're hearing ba hearing bad things, but like, is it, is it a worse way to play the game than the PS3 HD version? Or is it just disappointing, right? Is it like, right, is right? It, is it still like somewhat better than that version, or, or is it? I mean, that's that's the big question. I mean, like, like, is it, isn't it, it backwards compatible? The isn't the tr the HD collection backwards compatible on Xbox? Yes, which makes it even less compelling, really. Not that I have that version, but still. I get well. I'm I'm just I'm just really curious. <laughs> Mr. Dot says, uh, "Try to think stuff is interesting, and Corey is curious about stuff." <laughs> I mean, because I remember when the HD, when the first HD collection came out, there was like very like little information on it until it was actually in people's hands. And I remember I, I got it early from uh, um, from a place in Brooklyn. Uh, and, like, there's no other information on it. And I, like, posted it online. And I think, that, I think it was Wario64, like, shared some of it. 
Wow, I didn't even know Warrior 64 was a big deal back then. I mean, I don't think that he just posted deals then. He posted, like, other stuff, too. Um, uh, there's $10 from EB Chill, too. Thank, Thank you. you. Saying, excited about beating Super Mario Wonder this week. Then my two twin six-year-old daughters took over the game. Now I'm breaking up the fights. <laughs> yep. And not only that, but you can only... I kind of hate the practice of, like, having one save file per profile. Uh, on a system. Oh, is that how is that how Mario Wonder is? Yeah. Yep. Oh, like, it kind of looked like on the title screen, I thought it looked like there was kind of room for more than one, honestly. There is, because you it's, like, the other option is create a new profile for the system. Is there, is there like and if you have multiple profiles on, on there, better. then you can um, create one for each one of those. Um, yeah, that, that, that really stinks. I mean, I, I, I think I've complained about before where, like, I was really confused. Like, I want to say, like, Resident Evil 5 was the first game that, like, really confused me with, like, how modern games often do save stuff. Yeah. Where I was like, wait, like, all this is just, like, I'm not... I'm not choosing like a save like this is just this is just on my system and it's like the one mm. save I have and I was like I was really confused because I'm like you know like it seemed really strange to me at the time like this is common now but like it seemed really strange to me that like to do a when I unlock professional mode you know the, the hardest difficulty mode it seemed so strange that I couldn't just do a clean run of that. Like you always, when you start a new game, you're always carrying over what you had before. It was like, it was like difficult to just like play the game again mm -hmm. as if you didn't have, as if you didn't have anything. Right. And it's like, sometimes I want to play the game and not carry everything over. And it's like, it, it is it, like profile based saves. I, I do think are kind of a strange thing. Yeah. It's annoying, I think. I mean, I don't mind if you do that, like, and you give you, like, three save slots. Sure, then you've got three more on another profile. I mean, yeah. it makes sense that you're... I can understand why they did that. that. I mean, it's not like they're allowing you to back up your saves anyways. <laughs> not easily. Well, I mean, without paying for it. Yeah. Um, but I, I mean, I'd prefer to have uh, more than more than one. But I'm definitely curious about the old Metal Gear collection. You know, I'm. Yeah, is I if, if it if it turns out okay, then you know, like I think that's fascinating. Yeah, like even even if it's unambitious. Yeah. Like, I mean, like it, I'm kind as of long as it's like no, one. as long as it's no worse know. than. The PS3 version, then, well, we've we've now got an easier way to play a version that's no worse than that. Which I right. mean, that was considered. I mean, that was that was the game that kind of, from my point of view, like put Blue Point on the map. Yeah. Yeah, that was a that was the first one that was like a really big deal from them. Yeah. I think. Uh, but I mean, I'm like, I'm, I'm interested to see what the version of, of the first one is like on there. Yeah. Um, I'm surprised that, you know, that they, that they didn't do anything with, with Twin Snakes. I wonder if it's some sort of, um, like what's preventing that. I bet there's some, I bet there's some weirdness. I mean, I think, I think Nintendo invested in it. Okay. So that's like something that we'll probably never. Uh, get to be honest, I'm not even sure if maybe they they might have even published it or or co-published it or something. There, I, I I bet there's some I bet there's some weirdness primarily with Nintendo. Mm. Or I'm saying Twin Snakes probably less than Nintendo exclusively. Twin Snakes has some Nintendo specific imagery in it, like Yoshi. Oh, yeah, that sounds familiar. Of course. 
uh, you know, there's there's things in like, um, well, I guess it's not super explicit, but like the the Resident Evil remake um, has uh, has like a fake GameCube. <laughs> like in the yeah. lab that you like put the, right. the mo discs in. Yeah. But like it's it's not explicit. I've never actually finished playing through the the HD version all the way. Uh so I don't I don't know if they changed how that looks. I don't know. I do remember how big of a deal that was at the time though. How big of a deal what was? The release of Twin Snakes. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, I I thought it was, um, I thought it was awesome at the time. Um, it wasn't really like it's so interesting because, uh, like when it came out, I'm like, oh man, this is this is the original game, but you know, it's like the graphics are as good as Metal Gear Solid Two, and it's, <laughs> the gameplay's like Metal Gear Solid Two, and like then. Like years later, like after I revisit Metal Gear Solid 2 and revisit Twin Snakes, it's like like the quality of the, the graphics in Twin Snakes is like nowhere close to Metal Gear Solid 2. Oh crap. I just yeah, I mean like like just the just the, the you, you can tell that like a more talented group of developers and a larger budget much larger budget went into Metal Gear Solid 2. It just, it just, yeah, yeah. It just feels, but at, at the time, they, at the time they felt equ equivalent to me, but. Right. In retrospect, right. they, they, Metal Gear Solid 2 is a much more impressive game. Yes. I mean, for me, it was like how the new, how the Metal Gear Solid 2 uh, gameplay editions in the context of uh, Metal Gear Solid 1's areas. Which a lot of... Like, like, like they completely break the game. Right. Like, a lot of people t say that, that that was actually a really bad move. But at the time, it was, like, so cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, that, and, and also, and, like, and, people, and, you know, I can understand why they wanted to do it. Yeah, well, because people thought, like, at the time, and maybe they still think this today, that, like, oh, old games are hard to go back to. Mm-hmm. You know, people won't play this anymore because there's this new game and it's so much and it's, better. This dumb thing about it is only five years. <laughs> what, what? What am I doing? <laughs> it's like only five years between the two of those games. I know. It's like it. It is. It is really funny to think about. Like you think about something like, um, like I don't. I don't know what the time scale was exactly, but like you know, you've got something like Gravity Rush and then. You know, Gravity Rush remastered, you know, like that, yes. you know, nowadays, like if a game is coming out that soon to its original release, you know, it's, it's just a re, it's just going to be a remaster. Like no one does like a full remake in that span of time. Right. Like the closest similarity I can think of is like, um, uh, like Blue Point did Eco and Shadow of the Colossus. And then they like just like went went straight up and then like fully remade Shadow of the Colossus, like not that many years later. It was kinda like, oh, this is cool, but like right. maybe do you something think... else and then give us Shadow of the Colossus a few years further on. Yeah, but I mean, you know, it's <clears throat> it's like we want you to do this. Yeah. I wonder what Blue Point's been working on since Demons. They didn't get bought by Sony, did they? Or did they? I think they happened? did, yeah. Okay. I think they were bought by Sony before Demon Souls, so... Okay. Um, I wonder what they're... I mean... I mean, probably Bloodborne. Yeah. I mean, it, ne it needs it. I... I I shot some footage of uh, of Bloodborne through the the RetroTink uh, 4K last week. Like, yeah, this is a little a little crunchy looking now. <laughs> well, 
Well, that, I mean, that's interesting, though. I mean, how does that look if you compare it to it? I'm running on a PS4 Pro. Like, I know it's oh, not it's enhanced the, it right now, but I mean, like that, using that's the big that's that's kind of the that's kind of the big deal about Bloodborne is it's like oh, I, one of well, the most know, popular PS4 games, and it was it it never got a Pro update. Right. I I know, but it's still like it's it's running. If you run it on a PS4, it's getting output at 4K if, if your system is set to it. It's not like being rendered at 4K. Oh, right, right, right. But like, okay. it, I mean... I'm curious how that stacks up against the the, the tank 4K. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, it's it's just, you know, it's it, it doesn't look m measurably different from... Uh, I don't know if I knew you could kill Pot of Booze with a, with a Koopa Shell. But then it came right back. Um, Wait, they're not, they're, those things have They're pot of boots. They're not just like... They're pot of boots. I, I always thought they were just like like fireballs. That jump or maybe out. it's I Podobo. Know. I don't I don't know how exactly you say it. But. Wow. I had no idea. Whew. Um. But anyway, what, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, like the PS... So, like, when I played Nier Automata, it was like, you know, that that's like the game I was playing when I got the Retro Tank 4K, right? Okay. And I played, you know, I, I, I like, played, like, a day or two, an evening or two's worth of playtime into the game um, before it came. And I played the rest of the game through the Retro Tank 4K. I, now, the nearest neighbor upscale like it admittedly that wasn't like a super huge deal wait wait you played it you just played it on a ps4 no i played on the ps5 okay outputting but, yeah, 1080p to the tank i see because okay. you know i got the the much improved frame rate right even on a ps4 pro though yeah, the yeah, game yeah. is only 1080p i think it's like 900p right. on yeah, base yeah, yeah. and 1080 with better right AP i mean i've seen on pro uh, right. Which I mean, I'm, the... I'm just saying, like, you know, for the, you know, prevent, yeah, like, but the upscale, rate. the upscale was much nicer through the retro tank. But honestly, like, from the distance I sit from the TV, like, it doesn't make a, a big deal. Like, right. like, let's let's be honest. 1080p nearest neighbor. Mm. Oh come on. Um, 1080p nearest neighbor is like not. It's not game changing. It, it, unless you sit like. Maybe like crazy close to the TV or, or yeah. computer monitor or something. Like 720p, you can notice a difference for sure. But 1080p, like if you set a reasonable distance from your TV, it's going to be real hard to see the difference. The thing that right. I was really into it for was um, this, yeah. um the thing I was really into it for was for the. Uh, the HDR injection, which I think is better than what PS, um, what PS5 does for, um, <laughs> oh, that's such a hard jump. Cause if you hit that brick, you're going to fall. You're going to lose your momentum. Uh, anyway. I might almost bear not get to get the mushroom because it might be easier to make the jump. Um. Anyway, uh, what was I talking about? The uh, you say the oh yeah, uh, that... near automata. So I, I pl ah! that's a that's a that's a, you know that's not an easy jump. You know what though? If I was up top, I wouldn't have to. If I was up top, I wouldn't have to deal with that, and I I could still fall down. Because I think in the original version, if you were up top at that point, you... Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, can I get up top? Maybe. Maybe not. Whew! <laughs> That's close. Um... Anyway, um... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I like the HDR injection because you have so much more control. It can really customize it, you yeah. know, to, to your TV. You know, I got, when I turned on my TV's black frame insertion and turned on the Tink's HDR, I was able to, you know, if I was to flip back and forth between, you know, 
HDR with, or no HDR, no black frame insertion, and then HDR plus black frame insertion, I was able to get to where it felt like the same brightness levels. You know, so I was able to have the benefits of, you know, playing through the tank, even though, again, that nearest neighbor for 1080p is a very small benefit, but it is a benefit. Um, uh, but yeah, I was, you know, even though I was playing through PS5, and, you know, I've figured out workarounds to where the, you know, having the PS5 connected to a device that can't take 4K input, it's not a problem. Like, I... I can work around that. And I, I and I, I have a section at the end of the of the Retro Team 4K preview video that kind of talks about that. Um, where I talk about like how it's connected in my setup, because a lot of people are concerned about um, that aspect of like, oh, like I want to like, you know, sometimes use uh, you know, I might want to sometimes use it with a PS oops, with a PS5 or Xbox Series X, but not always. So, like, that's going to be like a big pain in the butt because it's going to like be like, oh, you know, you can't do 4K on the device it's connected to. But there, there are certainly ways to work around it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I just set my PS5 to only use the HDR when it's. Oh, oh same, 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 same. I, I mean, I, I, cause I don't like how that looks. Um, so it, but, but the, with the tink, uh, you can really work around like the, the black frame insertion, um, uh, darkness with it. And in a way that you wouldn't have the same control to do on a PS5, on a PS5 by itself with the HDR controls. You wouldn't, you wouldn't want to do that. I would argue. I see. So you're using the black frame insertion like game of PS5 games. Well, it, it, it's a game game by game basis. Mm -hmm. Um, some games I'm like, oh yeah, that's great. Other games I'm like, eh, I don't need it. But you know, I I really like it and is just as a feature in general. I actually, so I I stayed at my parents' house this weekend. Um, and I actually brought um, the RetroTink 4K with me. And I played through, you know, except for like the last two levels I needed to do for completion. Uh, I played all of Super Mario Wonder through the RetroTink 4K on the BenQ projector that I reviewed in the projectors episode, uh, mm. which can accept 1080p 120 it can't it can't do um it can't it can't do um it can't do 4k 120 but it can do 1080p 120 well the retro tank 4k can't do 4k 120 either it does 1080p 120 or uh, oh um so anyway yeah i, I used the black frame insertion through the tink on um on on that projector and it was it was awesome uh it it, it made a big difference i would say oh uh it, it it made a really big difference i thought it was great um like really like it, it made the rainbow artifacts like a lot less noticeable it's not like that for every game because actually the last time i visited my parents i brought the retro tink as well i didn't I didn't really use it. I, I, I was just like testing stuff with it because I was like, I'm really curious how this would look uh, on a DLP projector. And it does uh, reduce the impact of the, um, it does reduce the impact of the uh, rainbow artifacts. You know, it doesn't eliminate it completely, but it does reduce the impact of it. Um, right. And uh, for, for a game that moves at the speed of Super Mario Wonder, like the motion clarity was essentially perfect. Um, you know, maybe if you were to like ultra scrutinize it, might might not be perfect, but it was pretty close. It was, it, I was really, I was really impressed. It was, it was a great way to play the game. So, 
especially since that's like a pixel shift projector, which means that its true native resolution is 1080p, so it was a really good way to play the game, actually. Mm -hmm. The Tink BFI. So yeah, it's interesting how I've been able to use the Tink and like played through the entirety of some games um, uh, with it, which are games and scenarios that wouldn't be the main ones that you would think of, like played through Nier Automata, just because the HDR injection could uh, get me past the black frame insertion issues. And also because, uh, you know, I could use black frame insertion with Super Mario Wonder. Okay, five, is, is five four the one that's always, maybe, maybe I was wrong about four four being a maze castle. Okay, so it looks like top worked. Top. Hey, I'm gonna go fill up my water real quick. I'll okay. be right back. I gotta got puzzle through this maze. Looks like it might have been top bottom. So that's not bad. Okay, so five. This pin is dying. Five, four is top bottom. Not bad. And I've earned an extra credit for the next run anyway. It's kind of scary that you can't pause this. I guess I could set the retro or the, I think the Mr. Core can, can pause when you bring up the menu, but I'll try to pretend it's an arcade game. I mean, it is an arcade game. You know, I haven't found a, uh, I haven't found a vine at all in this. Sora surprises me. I wonder if they're in this at all. Whoa. You know what I thought was kind of funny about Super Mario Wonder having a, um, having a bubble? Uh, a bubble power up, you know, your character kind of whoo, whoo, blows the bubble. Um, you know, did, did anyone know anyone growing up back in the day that thought Mario spit fireballs? Anyone know anyone know anyone who who who, who said 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 spit a fireball? Some, some, some people don't, some people do. Henry Clark thought so as a kid. I mean, I looked at the instruction manual art, so I kind of knew better. You know, I, I, I use the instruction manuals just, I mean, I, they were basically torn to shreds because I, I handled them so much as a kid, like referencing them to draw from. And I, I like created a lot of my, you know, I drew levels. You know, I drew my own levels before Super Mario Maker was a thing. So yeah, I, uh, I, I could tell Mario was throwing fireballs. But it's funny, like, if you look at his sprite here, like, he is kind of moving his hand, like, close to his mouth, like, almost like the whoo that you do with the bubble power. So I, I, I almost, was that a thing in Japan too? Did people also think he was like blowing fireballs and maybe maybe the bubble power-up could actually be a reference to that? I wonder, that would be interesting. Whoa. Man, <laughs> leap of faith, eh? Uh, oh, come on! That's some garbage. That's some garbage. Oh, yeah, I see a couple of people, uh, or at least one person commenting on this level. All right. Sorry, I... I 
We're getting to that time of the year where Oof. there's just there's just Halloween candy all over the place. Uh oh. So I'm, I'm just gonna. Apparently, I'm on a uh, perhaps a somewhat notorious level. Oh, okay. This, uh, this does seem rather cool. Grabbing a couple of a couple of starburst. Oh, jeez, look at this. This looks this looks like some garbage. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I mean, honestly, it's the last thing I need. But when it's just sitting there. Oh, that wasn't Hard that bad. Oh, did you... Oh, geez. What? I missed this donation from Brent McLean. 30 minutes ago. Brent, I, I hope that you're still here. I'm so sorry. I don't know how I missed this. Whoa. Brent McLean said, I never played the Lunar games. Should I consider the reworked versions? I'm 46 and might like the OG translation, but would, would like your opinion. Thanks. Brent, I'm so sorry. I, am I am I correct? See, I, I I think I misunderstood that the unworked designs versions were different translations, but I don't think they actually are. Is that? They're just they just re remove a couple of pop culture things. Okay. Here and there. And also like remove some of the, like I mean I guess it also depends on what was it clear if he was talking about the um, Sega CD or PS1 version because like there's. Some more like annoying stuff added, I think, to the Sega CD versions that isn't necessarily an issue in the hmm. uh, PS. Well, not so much of the first one. I don't think. Um, I really like the originals, <laughs> but I mean, I don't think anybody expected oh. anything different from me. But, uh, I mean, I think that, I don't think, I don't, I don't think that it, either way, you're going to like it, I think. Yeah, I mean, I'm playing the PS1 version, just unaltered working designs version, mm -hmm. you know, I, yeah. I, because here, here's my reasoning. You know, people have their criticisms against working designs, but if I've never played through the game, then... Like, why do I know that I'm choosing to not play that version, right? Like, like I yeah. feel like I just, like, from my own personal knowledge and experience as a fan of RPGs, like, I want to, I want to know what that working design's experience is like, right? Yeah. Uh, like, so... You know, if if I if I like the game enough to like replay it again someday, oh, that was garbage <laughs> on my part. Oh, um, you know, but if, if I if I like it enough to to replay it someday, maybe I would do a, a, a different version. But I, you know, I just my my logic was well, this is what we got. This is what I would have played back in the day. You know, yeah. I know people have their, their issues with this, but I I feel like that's part of the game's legacy and a part that I want to be part of my experience for better or worse. Yeah. But that's just my take. I'm a very vanilla sort of guy when it comes to, to, to games. Like, I don't tend to play... ROM hacks or anything. I actually, I was originally going to see if I could uh, play like a cool randomizer or something tonight. But yeah. I've already done like a Super Mario World randomizer before on the Backloggery stream. And mm -hmm. I couldn't, I couldn't find anything that sounded like a super interesting Mario 1 or 3 uh, randomizer. So... 
I just decided to do this because it's like, well, here is like a real sort of version of Super Mario Brothers that I've not actually beaten. So I, I thought this would be, <laughs> this is kind of like, a, this is like a randomizer, uh, an official randomizer almost. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, Hitman uh, GFX has, has a very good point and one that I agree with as well. Saying, hot take, a lot of JRPGs have really bland dialogue. Sometimes spicing it up isn't the worst thing. And I, I agree. I think that, especially a lot of those, like, PS1 era RPGs, like, the text is, like, not... It's not, like, being, a, like, at the edge of your seat. Like, what's gonna happen? What are they gonna say? Not really too interested in, like... The banter, like like the Tales games, like a lot of those Tales games, you know, it's just like every like anime trope. It feels like in those those Tales games, yeah, where people just like don't say, just don't say what they mean. I feel like that's the thing I struggle yeah. with the most. Like, like so many problems in. Anime could just be handled if people just spoke to each other. <laughs> Although, I mean, that's just like oh, what I felt like back in the day. I can't, I can't comment anything like new. Real hard jumps. Oh, if I could get up there. <laughs> the just talk problem. Good. Yeah, and I mean, that's. I feel like a lot of TV shows have kind of gotten over that, which is kind of great. Where you know, problems are, are solved instead of, like, dragging it out for an entire season. People just talk about it. Yeah, that that is, a, an, a, is annoying where, like, problems are created from misunderstandings. That's, that's definitely an annoying story trope. Yeah. Um... There was also another 499 from Robert Hernandez. Hernandez, thank you. Thank you. Saying, what are your thoughts on the PS5 Slim? Uh, I'm hesitant to pick one up as I don't really have sh the shelf space, but it's darn sexy. Uh, I mean, if, um, if you could if you could lay it flat without a stand, I would be tempted. Um, but you can't. Well, I mean, you you, you can, but it, <laughs> I I will not. I, I'm insisting that that little leg on it, you know, the little, like, little, I, like... I, I heard talk about it, but when I looked at... Oh, dang it. When well, I looked at pictures, leg, I, didn't, okay? I didn't see it. There's that little leg, and I, like, I refuse to not call... I refuse to call it anything else other than the landing gear. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Like, I, it, just, like it looks like a landing gear for me, to me for some reason. That's fun. Uh, I don't know. Like, I, I would probably rather wait for either a pro or a or a super slim. Yeah, I mean, whether whether or not people want a, a pro to exist, like, it seems like the the rumors are pointing to... Oh, the plausible rumors are pointing to yes, so... Uh, and I, I know I can't I can't resist it. So whether whether you want to exist or not, I know I'm gonna buy it. I can't I can't help it. Um, so I, I think I'm gonna pass on this. Although I, I have heard that like a, it's generally believed that. Wait, you were like considering getting this? You no, say, like, no, I'm no, 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 no. I, I if if like if a pro seemed unlikely, I could see myself getting it maybe someday. Although again, the fact that you can't lay it. The, can't, the fact that you can't like I, it just I, I just want I just want a PS5 that you can lay horizontal with, with a flat bottom like built into it you know yeah. like if you could do that I would be tempted to get it someday especially because I, I've heard that launch model systems are like kind of believe that they're going to have a hard time as the years go on because the the RAM is not uh, cooled all that well or at all, apparently. <laughs> apparently, the thermal design is not good for the RAM. Mm. Uh, so, 
Wait, that, that, was, that was huh? In the original system, and, the, and not just original, but like the launch, the launch unit specifically. Apparently, uh, apparently the thermal design was Im improved for later revisions. Yeah. So launch systems are believed to have inadequately cooled RAM that could cause problems uh, mm. in later years. So um, I, I could see myself be tempted if it didn't seem like a pro was definitely like a surefire thing. If a pro does ne never does happen, then... I, I think, I think it, it's fine. If a pro never happens, I think that there well, will be a super one. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I shouldn't have lived through any of that, but I did. Anyway, yes. If a pro never happens, I would I, I would see myself buying a slim for posterity and then also like probably try to get my hands on a couple of uh, of uh, sealed uh, hard drive replacement. Oh, come on. You mean a sealed uh, hard uh, disk drive replacements? Because I do like the idea that it's like user replaceable. Mm. So you could, because hey, this could be the last. Like PS Five could be the last PlayStation generation with physical media. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we don't know that, but it's it's always a risk. It could it could be the case. Um. I I like the idea that you know it. Then it is. Gosh, dang it. <laughs> um. I, I like that it's it's user replaceable because then you could, you know, gather a few extras for the long haul and Yes. I think that's a good thing. And and hopefully the pro will use that same design and you can replace that you know, the disk drive. Yeah, but it's hard to say because I mean I can't imagine them coming out with a uh digital only pro well or vice that's, versa that's even. like what, what if they come out with a pro and it's digital only well they wouldn't do that. there's no there there is no way they would do that that would be stupid at this point in the generation they wouldn't do that because the market for a pro console is relatively small as it is mm -hmm. like they're not going to they're not going to you know, they're, they're not going to do that. But if they did do that, would you be able to resist that? Yeah, very likely, actually. Because, <laughs> I mean, I probably what are you will. Do I, I'm these games? Well, here's the thing I don't, I, I have like basically no digital. PS5 games, right? So... Wah! Wah! Oh, well. Um... I mean, you know, I've been saying, you know... When, when the inevitable digital future arrives, like... I'm... I'm not... Whew, I'm not like heavily invested in any digital ecosystem. So like basically all of them, including Steam, like, you know, ha have the chance to, to prove themselves to me with their offerings at the time that that happens. Yeah. And, and you know, I, I will most definitely be buying fewer games. I'll buy like fewer like experimental games and stuff like that because... But I'll, I'll buy like fewer experimental games because like oftentimes I'll just see like an interesting indie game and I'll be like, well, that was all my coins. Let's see, so I have four coins now and I have to get to six, four. <laughs> Mr. Dot says, you said it was interesting. You said it was interesting. You said it. Uh, so there was uh 
Uh, three dollars from Dad one one five three. Uh, asking, seen any horror movies lately besides the Taylor Swift eras eras concert? <laughs> um, I mean, you know, Drum and I watch uh, horror movies every Thursday. He comes over, you know, we, we, we do movie nights on Thursdays, uh, every Thursday anyway, he comes over for movies, but, uh, you know, like September to October is like totally blocked off for horror movie time. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, this year, the, the series that we, that we, you know, we, we often pick like either a series or a theme for each year. Yeah. And we, we... For better or worse, mostly worse, we picked The Howling, uh, which is oh, okay. a werewolf movie series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first movie was quite good. Mm -hmm. um, almost all the others were bad. <laughs> like, real bad. Um, although, the second one has Christopher Lee in it, but mm -hmm. it's not a great movie otherwise. I feel like there was one, one sequel that might have been the second one. That's the second where one. Where it shows like a werewolf like eating something during the opening credits. Maybe it was like a later one. But I remember seeing it when I stayed home from school one day. And it like freaked me out. <laughs> but I don't remember which I don't one it was. I, I'm not sure which one that would have been. Uh, video game session says that the one with TV acre. Oh yeah, so oh, the, what was the was was it like on on TV? It was like it was like a news studio. Uh, like the the first two movies are connected, and none of the others are, with the exception of um, I think it was the seventh movie. Mm -hmm. That, like, tried to, like, connect them all. Which was actually, it was kind of, it, the seventh movie was a trip. It was, like, so badly made. It was, like, definitely, like, a Troll 2 type of entertainment you could get out of it. Uh, it was, uh, it, it was bad in a way that made it, like, easily in our top three for the series. <laughs> it was bad in a way that elevated it. Mm -hmm. The others were bad in ways that didn't maybe uh, maybe were entertaining at times, but overall to their detriment. But uh, but anyway, yeah. uh, we, we watched um, uh, you know since we've we've finished the series, uh, we, we've been watching on the past couple of Thursdays. We've been watching um, we've been watching one other well non-howling werewolf movie and then just like one one other movie um yeah and uh we watched the the werewolf movie for for last thursday was uh the company of wolves have you ever seen that i what is it the company of wolves no it was really interesting actually like i feel like i've heard that name come up a time or two before but i couldn't tell you the context it was actually it was really you a unique vibe like i've never really seen a movie quite like this like it was it was like basically little red riding hood and it was like mostly like um it was mostly like its own like singular movie but it was it was also like kind of an anthology in a way because it like it, it it like occasionally cut away to the characters like telling another story about werewolves but for the most part like it, it was like an anthology movie except the framing device was like by far the majority of the movie okay um but it was like it was like mostly little red Riding hood but it was like also like super disturbing and occasionally really gross and so it like <laughs> it was really weird and it had this like very like old school movie set sort of look and it sort of had this very whimsical vibe about it yeah uh and like where it like it feels like it could just be like a 
like a, a dark fantasy movie that would be okay for kids to watch. Um, you know, like, you know, something along the lines of like Labyrinth or something like that, right? It, it kind of had that sort of vibe about it, except it was like, there's like things that are like very not okay for kids in it. So it was, it was an unusual movie. Uh, and I, I really liked it. It was, uh, it was pretty cool. That's interesting. I mean, I feel like out of all like the classic movie monsters, werewolves are, is like the least interesting to me. Yeah, well, I mean, that's probably why it took so long for uh, for us to, to get to like a, a werewolf year for October, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I always think of like like uh, dog soldiers was the one that I really liked. I, I don't, I don't know that one. It's the I, one I, where it's like starts out as one thing. It's like this, like in like Scotland or something like that. Like this, these people are like doing this military training mission, and then like they randomly get attacked by werewolves. Hmm. It's pretty good. Um. What was I gonna say? Um. It's by the same person who did the uh, the descent. Oh, okay, yeah. That's Which is an another movie that kind of starts out as one thing, and then right changes to something else. Right, right. Oh, uh, th oh go on. There was a uh, nine ninety nine from John H. Ooh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Saying uh, ninety percent of PS five games aren't even on the disc. It it feels like at this point. Uh, or you need an update just to play it. I I don't. I think wouldn't say it's ninety percent, but I mean, I, I mean, you might only be paying attention to like AAA games mm -hmm. when you say that. That's definitely not the case. Like if you look at the library as a as a whole, um, you know, and yeah. even in the case of AAA games, I feel like, I feel you know, like games that launch in a really bad state, like like to the extent that that they might have released in like the PS3 days, like it, it's yeah. not that bad anymore, really. Um, but yeah, there are times where it is, you know, you know, like a, you know, Call of Duty or whatever is, is is useless off the disc. That that that's true. That yeah. happens. Um, but I think, so you know, I, you know the example, I, of course, this is only one example, to be fair, but, you know, the example I always like to bring up is Final Fantasy VII Remake. It was, it was, it was version one for, like, six months. Yeah. And the patch, like, was pretty minor when it finally did come. Like, that game launched in a super solid state, so, like, it is totally possible to launch AAA games in that kind of state. Um, well, I wonder, like, how much of that... Like, I, I was thinking about this with Spider-Man. Like, I wonder how much of, like... Like, I heard that the day one patch, like, broke a bunch of stuff. But, like, pre-patch, pre-day one, it was, like, really good. Interesting. I haven't had any problems myself. What I've also noticed is that, uh... It doesn't, like, fill your map with stuff. You find it. Oh, so kind of... It did the original? I, I wonder if, like, if... I don't remember it doing that. Really? Yeah. Cause I, I thought that was like the best. Like when, when you uh, on you 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 described it that way on on the podcast with Chris. Uh, mm -hmm. You know about how Bre uh, Tears of the Kingdom, like instead of like filling the map with things that you need to clear off of it, the map starts empty and you fill it up with stuff. And I thought that was like yeah. such a great observation that I'd never thought of. And mm -hmm. that that really does make a a huge difference. Like it, yeah. it a, a huge difference. Yeah. So, you know, you can fly, you can swing around and like do like scans of areas and stuff, and it will reveal stuff. Or if you just like find certain things, it's just nice that it doesn't give you like everything. Yeah. I mean, I I gotta get back to, you know, I got I gotta restart that uh, original game like on the on the remastered version. Oh, did you get the you got did you get the remaster? Well, I mean, it's still only digital, right? Um, yeah, yeah. I, I, I got, I got 
I got a good deal on Miles Morales and you know, got that with it. So, I mean, obviously that's the version I'll play when I yeah yeah get around to restarting it. Um, so yeah. Um, there is also uh, four ninety nine from Scott Davis. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Saying, I I think the writing is on the wall. All future consoles. Uh, will have one SKU as digital first with a disk drive expansion option sold as an optional add-on. Well, I, I, I hope that's all future consoles. I, I doubt even that. Yeah, but I, it would be I great. can imagine. But I, I like the idea of that. Like, if you know, if they are going to have discs or cartridges or something. I mean, I like the idea of... I mean, th this is probably super unlikely but I, I i wish they would just be like you can plug any like usb like like i mean microsoft already does this with with windows like why not just say like hey you can put any usb media into the xbox and if it's like if it's if it's an x if it's xbox software that can run on this operating yeah. system then you can install it. Like, I think that would be great. Like, that way, like, you know, physical media companies could, uh, you know, they could, they could release on flash drive. They could release on Blu-ray disc. You could use any, like, standard Blu-ray drive. Like, I would love that. It's, it's probably really unlikely, but I don't see why yeah. they couldn't, you know, just be like, hey, we're just going to open up this platform. Yeah. I mean, Windows is already that way, so why why not why not Xbox? Yeah. Probably because the number of people that would be interested would be. Kaylee Gamer says, "Bring back zip drives," and I would have loved it if you could buy games on zip disk sized cartridge type thing. Oh yeah, like what what if like the, the Switch carts were that size? Yeah, I mean, that that would have been kind of cool if that was ever a thing. <laughs> I mean, I remember there was there's supposed to be that zip drive for the Dreamcast. Oh, I don't, I don't know about that. Yeah, I mean, it never came out, obviously, but I mean, it was definitely like in prototype. It was like it was like actually magnetic media that late. Yeah, I mean, it goes like on the what like the unit like goes on the bottom of the Dreamcast. Wow. And they're going to have zip disks. I'm going to look that up. But no, I don't, I don't think Corey is saying oh, magnetic good, storage. Yeah. You're just saying, like, wouldn't it be cool if a game cartridge was were those dimensions and that thickness? At some point in gaming history. Yeah, oh, there's a big... Interesting, like a big long story about it here on Sega dash uh, Sega dash Dreamcast dash info dash games dash preservation dot com. It looks like an upside down Dreamcast. Dreamcast <laughs> is on the bottom of it. It almost looks like a reflection in a way. <laughs> Video Game Obsession says, I played most of my SNES games from a 3.5 inch floppy. It was all good. <laughs> um, There's also uh, two pounds from JL. Thank you. Saying, uh, did you know that Flo is wolf in reverse? <laughs> yeah, there was, um, I think it was, um, I think it was the Howling 3 took place in Australia and there was like this there was this there was this there was a town called Flo <laughs> where the uh. wolves came from well they were were they wolves <laughs> that one had some disturbing imagery in it let's just say that <laughs> ah, I hate that jump that jump is so terrible uh, there's also five dollars from Mega X Six. Thank you. Then try if you ever watched the movie Wolfen. It's a B movie where the wolves go invisible. Oh, that sounds like the wolves are kicking it up a notch. 
Uh, no, I, I'm not familiar. Invisible with wolves. I mean, that saves on the budget. Yeah. I mean, the, the first Howling was... Maybe that's the, the first... If we have uh, no money... Okay, the wolves are invisible. <laughs> and you don't see them until... like You only see them at the very beginning of the movie and at the very end. I mean, you know, one of the most interesting things about werewolf movies is, like, you know, every movie, like, kind of tries to put their own twist on, like, the transformation, right? Yeah. And, like, actually, I think it was it was the fourth Howling movie, which, again, was not very good. Supposedly the one that's most similar to the original book. Um, but, uh, not very good. But... Uh, it was, it was interesting in that, um, uh, the, the werewolf transformation was very much unlike any I'd seen where the guy like actually like melts into a puddle and then like a bony wolf like starts to come out of it and then like the flesh sort of forms from like what melted. Oh, weird. Yeah, it definitely a, a, a different take, for sure. Yeah. But, like, the, the yeah. It, like in the first Howling movie, too, like, the, the werewolves were actually, like, like, I thought they were pretty well done. I thought they were pretty scary. Like, they had these, like, really, like, long ears that were kind of very creepy. Mm-hmm. They were, they, were, they were unsettling. You know, earlier in the way early in the chat, when we were talking about like cultural events, and I saw I saw that Madonna Sheehy mentioned. I'm not sure if she's still here. She's going to be on a on a podcast, like talking about the Blair Witch. Oh yeah, like the first one. Yeah, yeah. And like that's definitely an example of a, you know, like did you watch that movie when it came out? Not when it came out, but even even years later, like I I thought it was. The, I still, to this day, think it's the scariest thing I've ever seen. So that's that's so interesting because, I mean, when I first saw it, like, I, it wasn't in theaters yet. And, like, someone, like, gave me a, a CDR with it on it. And I had to watch it in real player. Uh-huh. And I feel like that really, like, getting passed around in that way is something that, like, lent it to feel like... Oh, this is something that this is real. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I mean, I feel like you look at that movie and the way that it like spread in that way before it even came out in the theater. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, it, I, 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 like I still like thought it was just very. I thought it was very effective. Uh, you know, even even years later, I still mm -hmm. think it's effective. I mean, I still think even if. Even if a movie is like not leaning super hard into that kind of marketing, like even something like Texas Chainsaw, where like they say like, "Oh, this is based on yeah, based this on thing that story. that really happened," you know, Blair Witch wasn't the first, but I I still think that kind of I, I think just like a message at the beginning of a movie, just saying like this is this really happened or this footage was found, et cetera, et cetera. Like I still think even if you know it's not based on that, even if they weren't like even leaning that hard into it. Yeah. I still think I still think that's effective somehow. Yeah. Well, I mean, like in terms of like Blair Witch, like I think that it's like I don't think that that could be replicated again. Mm -hmm. No, well, you know, I, I, I actually watched uh, a few weeks ago, you know, I, so, some people think this is silly, but like, I've, like, I used to think, oh, this is going to be bad. I don't, oh man. Not being big at this part is real trouble. Oh, oh my gosh, I should not be alive. <laughs> Whoa. Um, I all people think it's silly, but like, I, I, I always thought the idea of Bigfoot was scary. Mm hmm. Like, I don't know what you think, but like, I just, like, that. Well, you, you see that old, like, that old video. Yeah, like that, the classic, the classic yeah, it's, Bigfoot it's, video. It's like, definitely creepy. I think it's creepy. It is creepy. Like, I. I, I, I think it's creepy. Uh, and, and just like, you know, stories of people saying like, you know, they like, they like, they like looked out their window when it's like 
looking in at them. Like, just the idea of that's, like, really scary, I think, right? Oh, yeah. Um, and, like, but I've never seen, like, a Bigfoot movie that was actually scary. And I was just, like, browsing for free stuff to watch on Amazon. Like Harry and the Hendersons? <laughs> I, I, was, I was browsing for free stuff to watch on Amazon, you know, a few weeks ago. I saw that, like, one of the co-directors made a made a Bigfoot found footage movie several years ago. So, Wait, one oh. of the, the, the co-directors of what? Well, of Blair Witch. Oh, okay. Um, It was a found footage Bigfoot movie. And I was like, oh man, like this this might be the, the scary Bigfoot movie I've always wanted. And it, it, it was not scary at all. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it was like pretty middling even as far as found footage movies go like it was n nothing special unfortunately yeah i see chillerino is like mentioning uh, the movie skinnamarink and uh i i don't know if, if dustin's still here but i had talked to him about that a, a while ago and because i had like looked it up and uh I, i'd seen some people talking about it and it seemed like pretty creepy but you know, like, it's just, it's kind of like an abstract thing. And I wonder if that is something that, like, I, I saw a lot of people saying, oh, it's like, you know, the scariest movie I've seen in however long. But it's, like, kind of a weird, like, almost, uh, and then just, like, kind of, like, like really slow-moving, quiet, and, like, abstract, I think. You know, uh, I on the backloggery streams drum has been playing um alan wake and he should finish mm -hmm. tomorrow nice is he uh, liking it huh is he, is he liking it uh it, like the first when like, is that out oh, is that come out like this week the new one yeah i think Dude, so they should just like they should have just they should just delayed it they should have delayed it delayed it for what because there's just like it's there's so much other stuff coming out. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Um. Oh crap. Um. But anyway, um, he's been playing it. Uh, yeah, like the first two, the first two chapters they played the first week. He was like kind of like, eh. But he was like really feeling it after like the next two chapters. Mm -hmm. They did a bonus stream where he played about a chapter and a half because he realized he was going to need to do it to, to have uh, to be able to finish um, yeah tomorrow but does, uh, does he like the music <laughs> I mean I, I've, I, I've asked him about he, he I, I I don't think he's really been all that familiar with most of yeah I mean there's a lot of them I didn't know either it's just like really the first two are the ones that I knew and, I, yeah. and really it's, it's the, the second one the second ending song is like oh it's like here's a song that i haven't heard in forever and uh it's very it's just like it's kind of a good yeah i don't i don't know I, I don't think he i don't think he was like especially taken by mm -hmm. by that technique but um but the thing that i think is so you know having you know watched through the game again I think like what's so effective about it and I, i'm you know I'm, I'm not going to like give a specific spoilers but you know if maybe if you haven't played the game like or, or or if you care like maybe maybe mute it for a moment but um what i think it does so effectively is that at the beginning like it totally seems like it's all in his head yeah and and it keeps going back to that again and again where it like it 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 could still maybe kind of be in his head, but like they. Oh, oh I didn't think I was going to make it. Oh crap. Um. But like, they're, they're so, what they do so well in that is like give you like all of these sort of sorts of moments that ground the story, and mm -hmm. like like wow this actually does seem like it's it's really happening like this isn't just in his head 
Yeah. And like it just it like keeps it keeps you like the where where psychological horror sometimes loses me is like you know that it's not real. And Alan Wake does a good job of like oh, well <laughs> Alan Wake does a good job of like making you wonder like is it is this is this really happening or is it just or is it just all in his head yeah and I think like the reveals of how they show that it like come all comes together is I think it's really effective yeah is he planning on playing uh, Control oh, like, that's, I, that is the thing I'm ex I most doubt excited anytime about. soon <laughs> maybe it's, it's stupid but that is like the thing that I'm most excited about Alan Wake 2 to see if like how they cross over with Control are you playing to get I mean even though it's starring off digital only are you playing to, to get I'm not it? getting a day one no huh I'm not. I won't get it day, day yeah. one. Um, I, I like. I feel like there's probably going to be an eventual physical release. I think there will be too. I think it'd be silly not to do an eventual one. I think it will be too. I think there'll be something. Um, I'll give it a year. Yeah. Well, I'll give it a year if it's not. I mean, here's what I'm there. kind of thinking about. Like, you know, I want to build. I want to build this uh, new computer pretty soon here, and I don't know when this promotion might go away, but uh crap, crap. I really want that mushroom. Is it worth it? It is not. Um uh <sighs> so hard to do this. But I I think you should I mean well you're not gonna build. Well anyway I'm, I'm thinking about thing building that. that computer and a um a lot of the current NVIDIA cards pff, have a promotion right now mm -hmm. where uh, you get Alan Wake 2 for free. Which, I mean, it's like, oh, yeah, like, I mean, <laughs> you're going to have to buy an expensive GPU and get this, but it's like, well, if if I'm buying it for video editing anyway... Yeah. And, like, I'm, I'm not likely to play Alan, like, spend money specifically on a digital version of Alan Wake 2 anytime soon. But if I just happen, dang it! If I just, if I just happen to get it, then I'll, I'll you know, it, it's the only way that I would be likely to play the game anytime soon before, like, a, a you know, physical copy might eventually happen, right? Right. Dang it, why can't I mean, is that mushroom worth it? Is it worth yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. Like, if I mean, would you rather play Control and in... Have you played Quantum Break? I haven't. But like, okay. I don't. I, I. I. If I had that opportunity, though, to play Alan Wake too soon under those circumstances, there, there's no way I would. I would not go ahead and play it. Hmm. But even with even with the knowledge that here. the remedy universe is connected. Oh, I mean, I was saying even with the knowledge that you have like six more games in your and you're like, well, oh, Mario Wonder is the last game that I'm going to play new game that I'm going to play this year. Yeah, I mean, that's that's fair, but. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to pull the trigger on this computer soon enough to do that promotion anyway. It's just, for now, it's just talk. You're not even sure, like, the whole thing, like, with the decoding H.265 is, like, even making I'm, big I'm of a still, to, I'm like, still to trying to figure out, like, what, what is going to get me where I want to be. Right? Yeah. I mean, I would just put that 4060 in your editing computer. I'd well, do. I, you know, I was, you know, I was talking to Henry Clark and he, he, he did have like, not a bad suggestion. Like he was like, well, why don't you just like, you know, build out with, you know, everything that you want to right now 
And that'll, you know, it'll still get you in a better situation. Maybe you get like a, you know, like a, I, I, and, and by the way, people, I know that 4060 is a terrible card for gaming, but it's got the same encoding hardware, you know, video encoding as anything else in the 40 series, you know, um, it's a good, right. But it's not like you're playing on using like the AV one or whatever. No, no, but, but, but it's also got, it's got a better version of NVENC than 30 series. Mm -hmm. So that, that plays a factor as well. Um, so I, I'm still trying to learn more about, you know, what all the deal is. Um, but like, you know, he had a good point. Like maybe you either put that 40, 4060 that I got for the downstairs encoding, maybe you put that in, or maybe you get another for, for cheap. And then, you know, maybe you can repurpose that 4060 into something else. I don't know. But, but then he was saying like, then oh, this jump is so hard. He was saying that maybe like then, you know, so you spend a whole lot less money now and then maybe you wait and get like a, a really, really crazy card, you know, when the 50 series comes out. Yeah. So maybe, maybe. I mean, I feel like the 50 stuff is like, not that far off. I thought it is. was going to be really soon, but like I, talking to people who like know more about GPU cycles, like I, I thought stuff came out every year, but apparently not. Or like I thought like came out on like an annual basis. Like I, I think the 4090 is actually even older than I realized. Like I, I thought the 4090 was like... Yeah, I'll I, th I, th be... I, thought th I thought the 4090 was like came out this year, but I think it actually came out last year. So like I, yeah. I, I guess I just don't know that much about GPU cycles. Yeah, I thought it was like a year and a half or something like that. But I mean, <gasps> even if even if like the 50s are like a year off, like may as well just use that 4060. Yeah, be... but I mean, I don't I don't know if like how much better is that. Going but to be than the 1080 that I've got. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. It's just I. I. I feel. I. I feel. I feel like right now editing 4K stuff is not fun. It's right. Well, it's not fun even like with my 3070 Ti. Yeah. But I mean, it's still like it's not unbearable. It's just like. I, it's, but I just don't think that there's anything that's like it's it, pretty unbearable for me. It's it's get it's become unbearable for me without making proxies. And yeah, I, I well, don't. I mean, I don't want to have to like. I don't want to have to like live exclusively by proxies. You, I mean, but maybe I'm maybe I'm being unrealistic. Maybe I have to. I don't. I think that I mean it's very possible. It is very possible. Um, there was 499 from John H 15 minutes ago. Sorry about that. We got, we got on a tangent there, uh, at, saying, didn't they just make a wo werewolf among us movie too? And didn't like the person who created like the wolf among us stuff, like just release it all to the public domain. So like anybody oh, can make that I stuff now. It's kind of a, said, you know what? I just like, I'm just going to put this in the public domain. I mean, that's actually kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, there is also, uh, 20,000 IDR. Is that, is that Indian? From, uh, from, uh, Setya Pri Priyatna. Thank you. Saying, is this currency work? I mean, I, I, it appears I, to I, work. I, 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 it appears to. It doesn't, yeah. not showing up though on the... All, always, always cool seeing different currencies pop yeah. up. Yeah. Thank you. But it's not showing up at the top, though. Oh, it's in Indonesia. Oh, okay. Interesting. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, it's a dollar twenty-six U.S. dollars. 
Interesting. It sounds like so much. 20,000. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I just, like, I, I, I don't even know. I mean, like, the whole, I think a big part of it, and I, I mean, I've said it before, is I think that it doesn't have a lot to do with H265. I think it has more to do with Premiere just having to have, have to be, like, years and years of, like, old code. Just, like, I mean, that's being part of it, but I mean, H.265 is pretty heavy. Because, I mean, a lot of that stuff, like, runs great in, in, uh, in DaVinci Resolve. Yeah, I, I mean, you, you've you messed with DaVinci Resolve a little bit. Like, yeah, I, I and, looked like, a little I, bit. I bought it. Like, I have the... Oh, the, yeah, the full... Like, it's... Yeah. I, I, I didn't look at any tutorials yet, but it's, it's, it's definitely a different beast. It is. And, you know, like, that's, that's the most frustrating thing about it is that... It gets it gets frustrating because you wanna you suddenly can't move as fast as you want to. Yes. And you have to like look up how to do every single thing. I mean, have you ever like successfully made something on it? Yeah, I mean I've done like when I was like posting some Instagram reels and stuff, I made those in it. And I like I've been meaning to do like a lot of different things. It's just that I always start out with good intentions, and then it starts taking me like a long time yeah, to do get like simple stuff, and I'm like, ugh. Like, I, you know. I I like the idea though that, um, like, like if, like, like it works on uh, on Linux and Adobe stuff doesn't. I feel like, you know, it's not like I do anything like ultra complicated in Photoshop either. Right, mm -hmm. like I, I kind of feel like I could get by with like, you know, GIMP or whatever. If I mean that would be a learning curve as well. But like, if I could learn DaVinci Resolve and GIMP, like, I feel like, I feel like there wouldn't be a lot keeping me beholden to Windows. And you know, I, I, I I've been hearing rumors that Windows 12 is apparently going to be like a subscription service. Oh God. Which would like suck big time. Like, like there might be like a like an ad tier or something, but that would be right. Bad. I mean, it's it's true. Like, I think I've I've mentioned it to you before. And I was thinking, like, you know, you talk about like building a new editing system, and I'm like, I don't know. Like, I'm just half tempted just to get like one of the Mac oh. Studios and just like I have that. Like, learn, I, like I I, I'm not sure if, if GameStack is still here. But I know that he has been using a Mac Studio, like the like the like an M1, and they're like, so the M1 and M2 uh, processors in those systems are like are so good and like a huge jump. And how much uh, are those systems? Or the the Mac Pro? I mean, if you want to really deck it out, it gets it's expensive. Well, I didn't um, know there was decking out to do. I thought they were like. Oh yeah, I mean, there's like different configurations. I mean, it's it's pricey, but it's like gonna run super super well. See, let's see, GameStack says 4K is a breeze, even with HEVC. Really? Yeah. What? What? Um. Do you know, Joe? What? Um. What's doing the decoding? On your HVC, HVC there, like you're probably talking like the, 4K HVC, because that's that's what I want to edit. Probably so the, bad. the M1 or M2, because the M1 and well, M2 well, are is like. It, is, it, is it the CPU or the GPU? I'm curious, and like what what's the comparable decoding hardware in the in the PC space is what I'm trying to figure out. I feel like it's all in the CPU, and it's like, but well, so from what I like from what I've like, been reading, like. HVEC stuff is on the uh, on the GPU, except for like 10-bit 422 stuff. That's like a CPU thing. However, I think you have to be using like the CPU graphics mm. rather than like the GPU graphics. I don't know if like you have to like not use like a discrete graphics card to get that. I don't know. It's weird. Like I don't understand why like. 10-bit 422 HVC decoding would be on CP on Intel CPUs, but not on any GPUs. It's very strange to me. 
You know, I think I... I think I'm just... I'm gonna do that when it's time to upgrade this system. I'm just gonna... I think I might just get a... Do the, the Mac Studio. I mean, I could see you doing that. I mean, but you've... 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 You know, you've... You... You're, you're in the Apple ecosystem, and I'm kind of not, right? And it's like, it's like if you've made it this far without being in that ecosystem, like, why start? <laughs> well, I mean, that's, that can be said for, like, anything. I mean, it's just, you know, it comes down to, like, learning how it That jump is works. so hard because you have to, you really have to fire at the last minute. Okay, so the M2 Studio L... L LD spec for long-term rendering is at least 4,800. Um, I mean, they're they're expensive, but I know that Epos Vox switched over to just got a Mac Studio because he was like annoyed with like sound hitching and stuff, and even his like top of the line builds, and it's like solved all of his problems with that. I think I might just do that when it comes time to upgrade because this this system is like fine for what I am doing with it. Like maybe I could up, update the GPU if I needed to. You know, and by by the time I get around to doing that, like the M3s will be out or something like that. See, Joe says, the thing about Macs is they last forever. The main issue with Mac Studios, you can't add RAM later, so max it out when you buy it. Mm. But, I mean, they maybe if they have, like, a... When the M3 is out, maybe they... When it, eventually we get around the... When I eventually get around to buying one, maybe they will add the ability to add more RAM. Yeah. I mean, Potter goes... It's like... <laughs> Nowadays, it's dumb not to have the right tools for the job, especially with tech. There's so many options now. Why be brand, brand loyal? Wait, say who? Uh, Powder Keg says, uh, nowadays, it's dumb not to have the right tools for the job, especially with tech. There's so many options right you're, now. You're, is brand... he saying for me being brand loyal? I mean, no, I think it's just like in general. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, you know, like I'm get, not, get the right tools I'm for the job. I'm not being brand loyal to anyone by like being reluctant to get into Mac stuff. I'm just reluctant to get into Mac stuff because it's like like it feels like when you, like you can't really just dip your toe into the the Apple ecosystem like you know like it's like yeah. it's like you just got me all in and I'm just like I and, and not to say that like Google is necessarily like like any better, but it's like I'm in Google. Like I don't need to be. I don't need to be in both. You know. I guess that's my perspective. Yeah. Dang it! Oh, you almost had it. No progress this run. Oh wait, wait. Do I have another? Do I have another continue? Nope. No continues. Should I do one um, more attempt, or should I, should I finish up the stream on something else? Yeah, I mean, whatever. I'll do. I'll do one. Do you, more. do you have Do you have versus Castlevania? No. <laughs> oh, are you uh, sure it's not in there in the same, or is this like its own core? Oh, 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 oh! I forgot. I'm playing on Mister. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Fully Max M2 Studio is eight. Eight thousand eight hundred dollars with one hundred ninety two gigs of RAM and eight terabytes of internal storage. <laughs> say say what? A fully maxed out oh M two. Oh my gosh, studio. that's a lot of RAM. Yes, and in like a pretty a lot of internal storage. That's uh, that's wild. Oh, he's like, why is he? The floor's all jacked up right there. Yeah, I wonder. If... I wonder if it was because it was like playing an NES demo, but like it was like screwed up. Yeah, it's stick with the two like terabytes channel. of internal storage because you just like can. It has a ton of USB C. Whoa! Expansion. Why are these. What is. What is. 
What is going on? This is like... Um, I've seen this, something like this before. I don't remember what's causing it. Is it a... A setting thing? I don't know, it's crazy though. Like, I noticed that the... The Mario versus ROM... Like, set, specifically said, like, fixed. Oh. Uh. And I... So I don't know if there's, like, something... Oh, yeah. Special about how these have to run. Um. Oh, well, this one does say fix. So I don't. Is there a non fixed one? No. This is the only. Mario is the only one that has two ROMs. Be a lot, a lot more challenging this way. <laughs> yeah. I'm, su I'm surprised it's like. <laughs> like this, everything's just like crumbling behind you. And no, I'm and like, crumbling. I'm surprised the game logic is like still working at all. Like, it seems to mostly just be a graphical issue. Like, <laughs> the game is operating as it should otherwise. Loading blocks in the wrong order. You're seeing the future on the left side of the screen. Okay, so Displaced Gamers did do a video on this. I do recall that now. Oh, that's where you've seen it before. Yeah. I think that Chris from Displaced Gamers will be at the, the con this week. Yeah, yeah. He li lives in I can't seem Nashville. to go down the stairs, unfortunately. Yeah, so uh, this, is, uh, this, is, this is officially quite screwed up. <laughs> uh, that's interesting. I wonder how you play that on uh, on here more properly. I played when I played uh, a good ways into some version of NES Castlevania at um, at the Galloping Ghost in Chicago. Mm -hmm. I, I don't remember if it was Versus or Play Choice though. Uh, yeah, so that that's not gonna work out. Yeah, you, you, you know, you know what I'll do. I'll just, uh, I'll just, I'll just play regular Super Mario Brothers and make myself feel good. Why don't you play? You should play Wizards and Warriors. It's just I don't, Wizards and Warriors. <laughs> I don't even like that that much. No. Bum, 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 I just want to make bum, myself bum, feel bum, good. Bum, uh, beating Mario 1. Um, but I mean, I think that's like, a, it's an, definitely an interesting thing that I will, I'm going to think heavily about because I could like just keep this system for capture and everything and just like edit on, yeah. on the Mac, which is, you know, like if it's all connected to the same source, eh, it should be good. That'd be that'd be nice. I'm I'm jo Joe. Do you like use any PCs at all in your house, or is like, I mean, I know that you capture on the. Uh, you capture like gameplay on on your your Ninja, because I I've like kind of switched over just to doing that, because it's like so much easier and you don't have to worry about drop frames or anything. Yeah, but it's those files, man. They're so big. I'm I'm just I'm just. Like if I if I had an I'm, Atomos, I'm converting would, them to HEVC, like from there there. I mean, if I had an Atomos, like I would only be using it for like specific use cases. Um, I mean, it's just I like I'm kind of realizing more that it's just easier to do that because then just like then transcode the uh or just like com like. Convert like tra transcode it to uh, HEVC from there. Know, that, that seems like a lot of steps. Yeah, but you don't have to worry about dropping frames or anything like I mean, that. I'm not. I mean, the way I've got things set up now, I'm not. And you, you I'm can not dropping frames and 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 OBS. Yeah. I mean, I I, 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 I I certainly can if I'm not careful. But the way I've got things set up, I, I it's I've got it good. It but it does have a HEVC setting. Using... I just never really used it. 
What uh what 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 are the specs on your your M2 Joe that are that that has it cut oh, yeah, through, through 200 megabit per second HVC so so easily? But it's his, I think it's his uh the Elgato. Well, no, but it. like that's what's capturing it. But what you know, I'm, I'm curious what his hardware is that's decoding that and editing so smoothly. Oh, it, it has. I guess it has. On board, um, it has hardware decoding for it. That's like it's like a, the GPU is on the CPU. This. Oh well. I my my brain was still I still in uh my my brain was still in Mario versus mode. So I I was like, oh, why am I? Because I, I just didn't think to take the sh take the warp. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure that the you know Joe says he has a M1 two terabyte internal storage, 64 gigs of RAM, and I, I bet you like, I bet you he barely doesn't use it for much other than, than editing. Really, you could do 4K HVC on a 2013? What? what? Oh yeah, I mean, but that's that's a Mac Pro. Yeah, but that still almost doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> but he he doesn't use In Premiere. 2013. It's it's a lot. Of, I think it's a lot of it is the Premiere. A lot of it's Premiere. Oh, he's he's watching this live stream on it. Cause so my wife just got a a new um an M2. Uh, um, MacBook Air, and it's like destroys the the pro that she had from her from her job. That was like a 2019 MacBook Pro, but the M2 it just like destroys it. Hmm. I gotta run to the bathroom. I drank two big things of water. So Jeff O say, oh, that M2. Yeah, there's like, <laughs> there's too many M2s. Not M2 CPU or APU or whatever. The M2, the developer, the other M2 developer that works with Capcom. doing i feel like mario versus kind of frazzled me i just kind of feel exhausted oh, that's a good work. feel like playing Mario 1 anymore now. Here. I'll just do it the proper way. And not forget to use <laughs> the proper warp zone. <laughs> oh man, after that final, final challenge in uh, Mario Wonder and then, and then Mario Versus. It actually kind of wore me out, I guess. I, I reset because I didn't feel like going through all the levels. <laughs> I just want, I forgot to use the second warp zone. Oh. Because my, my brain was still in Mario versus mode where I was not taking the warp zone. <laughs> so I, 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 I just feel kind of frazzled, I think, at this point. 
uh, from Too Much Mario this weekend? Yeah, basically, I guess. <laughs> Mario versus was a was a step too far for today, I guess. This too is too challenging for you. Well, I don't, I don't know that that level. Ooh, I did the running, the running pipe crouch. That's uh, don't get that one too often. <laughs> um, but hey, at least I've I've earned four credits for Super Mario Versus. There you go. If I if I want to apply that to future runs. I mean, what what day is Alan Wake supposed to come out? I don't know. I thought it was like maybe the twenty eighth. Is it? I don't know. Uh, so is anybody here going to be going to going to Nashville to the Music City Multicon? You know who's going to be there? Danny Trejo, Machete himself. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Um, was Danny, Danny Trejo was in uh was in From Dust Till Dawn also, right? I think so. I, it's been a while since I saw that. Oh, another running, running crouch, man. Um. Uh, what are the back back library rules, by the way? Um, you start with one coin. Th this is for arcade games specifically. You start with you start with one. I mean, and by the way, this is not like for everyone in the back library. This is what we just like to do on our. Uh, you know, the backloggery co-founders we like to use on our for just our personal arcade rules and what we do on our Monday night streams. Um, um, you you start with one coin to insert at the beginning of an arcade game, and then when you get to the end of that first coin. You earn a earn a second coin, but you can't you can't just insert it right away. You have to like start over again. But you you can then start your second run with two coins, mm -hmm. and then you have to uh, get it at least as there's kind of two there there's two versions of of the rules. And lately we've been doing the hard rules. Um, there's not a lot of difference between them. But basically, the, the 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 normal rules are if as long as you get at least as far as you got on your furthest run, you get one more continue or one more credit. Um, if you uh, if you don't, then you don't you don't earn anything. You have to you have to get at least to your furthest point uh, to earn a earn a earn a credit. The hard mode rules are um, the hard mode rules are that we we have to get further than our furthest point. So if you got stuck on a boss, you still you know even if it's a quarter, if, even if the game's a quarter muncher, but then you know we'll 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 back off to easy rules if it's or normal rules if 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 the hard rules become too tough and we all we we also do like dip switches on like the default settings like whatever the whatever the the normal difficulty would be the only thing that we change is um we will make it easier to uh earn extra lives like whatever the most generous extra life um uh, option is we'll we'll do that dip switch and also like for anything that has like a timer we just we just make it the longest timer like especially like mm -hmm. brawlers and stuff like that it's like why not just 
make it 90 seconds if they let you, you know? Because uh, those, those aspects, I I, I think, are, are, are good, good compromises. But yeah, it, and it's, it's made, you know, that, th the idea behind it is, you know, you, you don't just rush through an, an arcade game and, you know, completely forget about well, it. Well, you like, can, but yes. Well, yeah, you, yeah, the, but the idea, the idea is you, you don't, you know, pretend you have infinite quarters or you don't play free play because, you know, you want to learn the game, right? You want to, yeah, you want to yeah. feel like you learned it. You want to have the game make, you know, sort of an impression, right? Yeah. You're not going to remember it if you just, you know, free play it, right? Yeah. So, so the, the idea is to, to give us incentive to learn the game. Uh, have you... Uh, have you played any more Vampire Survivors? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, I mean, I haven't gotten credits. Um, oh, it's, I mean, it will take you it a while. Apparently like, took you a while, huh? Yeah. I mean, it took me, like, apparently more than 30 hours, but less than 40 hours. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I might be out of levels to unlock. I mean, I, I, I don't have the DLC. Um. But, the stream, uh, the stream struggling here. Mm, I've got green over here. Uh, I, it, it dropped down to 240p for me. Oh, there it is back though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Yeah, I, you know, I was talking to, talking to John Linneman about Vampire Survivors, because he hadn't tried it, and he was like talking about some game that has like a bad frame rate and I'm like well is it as bad as this and I <laughs> sent him this video that I I took of Vampire Survivors yeah, yeah. where it was literally moving at two frames a second oh I thought and it was like, moving at less than that I, thought it, it it, I mean it was making it was it was moving so slow that it probably would have taken 20 minutes for the last two minutes of the game to like expire to happen so I just like ended up quitting because I was that overloaded wow. um and he's like, you know, I was prepared to say no, but no, that's way worse. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he would like the game, or if he just like. Couldn't well, I mean, get, I talked. I, I if like my get exact over word the, were, the visuals. you know, like. What did I say? Um, I said the game is so baffling to me. It's super basic. Looks like. Sh Shit. <laughs> Doesn't even need to be use buttons because your character's attack automatically yet it's stupidly addicting because you unlock something new just about every time you play. <laughs> I mean it's it I, I think it puts the game in a lot of context when you learn that, you know, the guy who made it like works on slot yeah. machines. Programming slot machines. Right. Like it's you know, it's it's a slot machine in a proper video game format. And it actually, w w without, you know, it actually being stacked against you. So it actually is, is fun in that way. Will you, uh, I, 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 up and I, show me what you got on it? Up, yeah, sure. Let's do it. I don't want you to play around. It's, I don't have, I don't want to go for another 30 minutes, but. Yeah, fair. I mean, it is. October. Have, have you like? Isn't it funny though? You, like you kind of notice like, like certain characters are for, uh, like you have you gotten the bayonetta character? I, she's actually the character I most recently uh, got. Uh, yeah. And uh, her weapon. I I've only tried her on that. I, I tried the boss rush stage for the first time. So yeah. that's probably not really the best level to get used to her, but her weapon seems awesome, but those enemies take forever to kill. So her weapon, I mean, she starts with two weapons. Oh, were you, you were playing Shredder's Revenge recently? Uh, for retro tank stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, by the way, every time I play Vampire Survivors, it's with the N64 controller. 
Really? <laughs> Why wouldn't I? Uh, that seems like way too much effort to put into the like playing that game. It's, it's no more effort than picking up a Switch controller. And I lit you just use the analog stick, and it's yeah. the best analog stick ever made. Um, <laughs> that's right, I forgot. <laughs> um, so here's where I'm at on the on the power ups. It seems that some of these continue to get added more recently. Like for a long time, nothing was added to this menu. I've started yeah. getting other things, but it's like mostly things I'm not really that interested in, like the skip and banish. Like, I don't really care that much about those. No, you'll find a reason, though. Like, as you get more weapons and stuff. Well, it is it is starting to get frustrating, I, I have found. It is starting to get frustrating to, uh, like, I'm finding I'm spending a really long time recently, like, filling out my weapons. Mm -hmm. especially because it's like, well, I know more of the, um, I know more of the, uh, Oh, I need to switch to the 69 view. Nice. Um, uh, Oh, I guess I've got two controllers connected cause I haven't seen this screen before where it says connect. Agnala, Provola. I Provola. don't have that many characters overall. I mean, I, I never played it multiplayer. Have you played it? No. Multiplayer. I I bet it's pretty fun. I bet I bet it is. Um I mean I don't have that many characters overall. But yeah, P Pugnala, Provola, yeah. Bayonetta. Uh, Why don't you play for a little bit? Huh? Why don't you just play for a little bit? Sure. You know what I can do? I can do right out the stream on this. I I can do the the Il Molise, or however you say it, level where the time limit is 15 minutes. Okay. I don't have very many of these cards either. Um, oh, I always I, put I, like these cards are not like all that, all that good overall the ones that i have aren't you get some good. good ones though yeah the ones i have right now are not that good yeah i always play on hyper mode i can't like i could not play on not hyper mode oh now that you i've not tried it oh i mean it's it's exactly the same it just moves a lot faster oh well, in a should, good should way I, should i restart yeah yeah try it okay I, I, I didn't, it, I haven't had unlocked it that long ago, so. Uh, Joshua Helmick says, this is, with $5, says this is the beginning of the end of our friendship. Watching it right here, it's all because of Vampire, Vamp Savior. There you go. I just think it's way more enjoyable when it's super fast. I mean, earlier on, though, when you don't have so much stuff unlocked, it would probably be pretty, pretty challenging, I would say. Uh, to move this fast. Hmm. The the music uh, kind of the kind of has like a very bayonetta sort of sound to it. Yeah, yeah, and there's there's a lot of different pieces of music in this game. Yeah, and it's like Characters like the like music is really movies. good. I mean, it's it is yeah. It lives like, up to its Castlevania inspiration. Yes, absolutely. I mean, it's it's like so interesting because it feels like the most love went into the music. In yeah. This game. Actually, is this music tied to her character? There's like, like certain characters have specific music, and you can change the music. Because this music sounds very Bayonetta, and I'm pretty sure yeah. this is the same music that I heard on the, um, on the on the boss rush. 
You mean the the boss rash? Oh, oh, oh in, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, in, yeah. I mean, I still think that I still laugh about the bone zone. <laughs> You know, so have you unlocked the bone zone mode, yet? Or is the bone clock? zone DLC? Huh? Have I don't you got the bone games. zone yet? Yeah. Oh, I have bone zone, but I've I've actually not been to it. All right. But it's not part of the DLC. Okay. I mean, I don't even know what if it was and wasn't part of the DLC mm. because I just it's that's the thing. I think another reason why it's so uh, it's so popular. Is because like it's like priced so cheaply that if you're gonna get it, you're probably gonna get all the DLC as well because the DLC is like a dollar. Yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe I should just get it because like. Oh, you you don't you don't you, wait you you didn't get the DLC? No. Oh my gosh. I told you I didn't. Oh. I must have missed that because I just, like I mean, it was like a dollar. I, I so rarely like, buy DLC. Like you know? lunch money, like like it was like it was the same price as like buying my lunch when I was in in uh, in high school. <laughs> I mean, I I didn't I just didn't want to buy it like sight unseen, you know. Yeah, I mean, I was just like I'm just gonna get it because I just I don't so buy cheap. digital stuff that very often, you know. So. I guess I'm just kind of slow about it, but <laughs> so I, I'm noticing that the clock doesn't actually seem to be moving faster. No, it's just it's just the gameplay is faster. Well, so you're gonna get like a lot more levels on hyper mode. Oh, definitely. And also, like now that I've like powered up so much, like you know through the you know the menu where you purchase stuff and whatnot, like yeah. especially like. Once I, I, you know, really power up, you know, on a run, uh, I, 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 I find that, um, well, I'm gonna a lot of levels here. <laughs> um, I, 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 I find that, you know, what, what, once you've got like at least one weapon leveled up, like you can almost just like move at full speed. <laughs> and just yeah. like run through things. Yep. You, you don't even get. It. But it was like it, it was a long time before I I could survive thirty minutes. Yeah, it takes. Uh, a little but bit. now like it's like the game is like generally like super easy now. Yes. But like for a long time I I couldn't get past like twenty minutes. Mm -hmm. And then like all of a sudden. Like, I just, I don't know what it was, but, like, you know, I think mostly it was my upgrades. Uh, but, like, uh, uh, you know, the, the upgrades that you purchase. But, like, at some point I cross the threshold and it's like, well, now I almost never die. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share this video of the game running at, like, like two frames a second. It's, like, it's going to be a link to my Dropbox. But it's just a whatever it's just like this is a video that i had to take when i was on the plane last week yeah i'm Before pretty sure that. this music is tied to the bayonetta character because it just it sounds so bayonetta and it was on i heard it on a different level and i don't think this was the music on that level before Oh, I can if I got the duplicator. The I, the I, I like the lightning, but like I feel like the leveled up lightning's not that exciting. I like the lightning, I like the duplicator, but it's just it's not that exciting leveled up really. Yeah. Like some 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 leveled up weapons are like clearly a lot more interesting than others. Like I, I love the leveled up daggers. Like that was actually the first that was the first weapon that I that I ever got leveled up somehow. Like I wasn't really into the daggers that much, but like I used um that that character Gennaro a lot. Yeah. Uh who likes has extra uh extra for every item. 
And uh, so, like, I, you know, by default, I had to use knives because that's what he has. Mm -hmm. um, and so when I finally got that leveled up, like, it's just, it's just like a constant beam of death. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like amazed at that video. <laughs> what what was causing it? You know what items were causing it? Uh, I mean, just several items. Like once you can have like like if you uh, have like so many evolved weapons. There's just like so many effects going on. It's actually like impressive that it runs as well as it does when it's like just pretty overwhelming. Yeah, but then yeah, it's yeah. like it just like really goes down the crapper sometimes with certain ones. Yeah, I mean most of the time it's pretty smooth. I mean it's, it's smooth right now. Yeah, I mean there's a lot going on. I think it would be really interesting to see if it could be backported like older systems and. Like, could this run on PS3? I yeah. mean, th this feels like like a concept that could have been invented at, at any point in the past 15 years, and it just didn't happen until now. But, like, th this yeah. could have been, like, this could have been, like, a big deal in the PS3 era. You yeah. know? It could have been, but it wasn't. Yeah, you know... And I guess there's a lot of copycat games out like this, but I have like zero interest in playing another one. Yeah, <laughs> you know I, what mean, I mean, I mean, this, like I like this. This is like enough. This is enough. Like, like it's this. This game is a complete waste of time. It's sort of it's an indulgence, right? I mean, sometimes you like end up playing like multiple rounds though, and it's just like hours. Well, that, I mean, that's what I mean. Like it's a total waste. It's totally stupid, and it, like. It feels like more of a waste of time than like other games that you could be playing, right? Uh, yeah, every so, single time. So that's time. what I mean when yeah. I say it's a, it's an indulgence. Like, it, it feels like something that you shouldn't be wasting your time with, but I, but it's fun. It's legitimately entertaining. Yeah, and and like it's it's also just like it's so like the reason I've been playing so much of this and not like Lunar like I should be is just because it's like it's it's just. It, if you're feeling busy and tired, it's just like, it's the perfect game for that state of mind. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 a total like mystery, honestly. Um, I mean, I get why it is, why it's fun and like why I played it so much. Oh, I, you know, calling it Geometry Wars. It's like no, it's not even close. It's like no, but like like I I could see it. I could see it having that kind of popularity in that in the Geometry Wars generation if it yeah. if it had existed at that time. Is that's what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it could have been like the Geometry Wars. Like what if Ge what if Geometry Wars didn't come out until 2022? But this came out with Geometry Wars, did, you know, like both very simple concepts that could have existed at like basically any point in history. Yeah, I mean, Geometry Wars is like a lot better than this, but I played this way more than I played like all three Geometry War games combined. And you like platinum some of those. Or... No, 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 no. I, I played a lot of the first one. Uh, the first one, I just loved how simple it was. And, uh, I mean... This this, this game is, is perfect if you just, like, want to play a game. But you don't want to even, like, think or care about what you're playing. <laughs> because there's so many times, like, once you gets like fully powered up right and like nothing can get can kill you you can literally set the system down and walk away and come back when the time is up <laughs> but like early get building up to that point like right even, like like not, like 
Because you really got to do some of the, get some of the unlocks and stuff to like, so that your character starts out in a better state. Yes. Like, like, there, like, yeah. don't, like there's absolutely a good, a good deal of challenge in initially learning. Right. And it's like, yeah, they are, it is like an addicting trance. Like, like, I'm not thinking about the game at all when I'm. <laughs> I mean, I'm usually playing it like before I go to bed. Or something. <laughs> this is a great game to play when you just want to play a game that you can ignore. <laughs> I just want I just want to play something I can ignore. But, you know, at the same time, I, I really appreciate, like, <laughs> it's unabashed, like, Castlevania ripoff aesthetics and stuff, you know? Like, yeah. Like, like, th like th th they couldn't have picked a theme for this game that I would like appreciate more. It's even as ugly as it is. Like, I just love that your basic weapons, they're just Castlevania weapons. They look like Castlevania weapons. They behave like Castlevania weapons. You know, yeah. it's like, they, they don't care. Yeah, and exactly. Like they like literally do not care like how much they rip off like everything that they rip off in this game. Yeah. <laughs> and and there, there's a there's a there's a charm to to that. Yeah. I I, I think yeah. like like I've always said I have a soft spot for just like unabashed Zelda clones. Mm -hmm. Cuz it's just like they just they, they don't care if you know what this was inspired by. They don't care. It plays exactly the same and that's okay. Oh, this is like Bangayo is is way better than this. There's like so, like I mean, I mean when it comes to this game, like better is not even the point. Yeah. Like like it doesn't it doesn't matter what is a better quote-unquote game. I mean, this this game is like video game junk. Food. Yeah, I mean, that might even be giving it too much credit. And like and I just want to be clear that like like it it's okay that it's like that because I mean I dumped like more than thirty hours, less than forty hours in this game, and you know like when you're just like doing that in half hour chunks, it goes pretty quick when you think about it. But I mean you don't. It's like it's so easy to make fun of. Because it's like not like a great game. It's just it's just really fun to play. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, it's it sounds weird to say it like that, but I mean, it's bad, but it's good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it it really like I think a lot of people have said over the years like, can video games have the equivalent of so bad it's good like movies do i've mm -hmm. heard people argue that you you can't because you have to suffer through like bad gameplay oh and i mean but this is this this is like the this is kind of like so bad it's good except it it knows it though yeah exactly like if you read the the the, the i love like the writing on the level descriptions it's very mm -hmm. self-aware oh yeah Yeah. The same thing with like the like the bestiary and stuff. Oh, I haven't really read that stuff. Maybe I can get the flamethrower. Well, like the, when you get like the hints and stuff, too. Like you can play as a, a dog in one level. Oh. You can unlock a dog. I like I, I honestly haven't even like paid that close attention to like what the achievements and unlocks are. Like I'm like I've looked occasionally, but like for the most part I've just been playing and Yeah. Tend to and unlock stuff anyway. Like it's interesting because like some can you like 
can you unlock every character's weapon for everyone, or or, or do some just yeah. never unlock? Oh yeah, no, you got to unlock their weapon for everybody. You have to play as that character for like fifteen minutes. Okay, because some characters I feel like I didn't actually unlock their their weapon. How do you feel about that? YouTube does does hate this game. Huh? Y YouTube hates this game. I mean, it's yours. I, I, I didn't think it was unwatchable when uh, when you streamed. Yeah. It. I love how this level has these old men appear. Like it looks like Poe, that one character. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the the, char the enemies don't move in this level. Like early in early in this level, if if you see one of those old men, it drops a treasure chest. But then at this point in the level, they're just like spawning everywhere, and they don't always drop treasure. I don't think I'm gonna upgrade any weapons. Well, when you when you unlock the uh, uh, l limit break, oh, I actually just like, that's when things get really crazy. Because like once you max out of all your items. The limit break makes it so you can keep on powering up everything. Oh, I, I didn't know about that. Yeah, so things go like past like their like initial eight levels or whatever. When do you, when do you, what do you need to get that? Oh, I don't remember. But it's it's called limit break, and the thing is, is like once you get to that point, like a like levels level ups happen so fast that you can just have it say like always choose random. So oh. you like are always getting powers power up, and it's just like randomly picking. So you don't actually have to hit anything. At that yeah, I've, I've got it to where if you get everything maxed out, you can just choose always experience or always, yes. or always, always, always Money turkey or, or always, uh, always, always turkey or it's always chicken, al always chicken or, or always money. Yeah, and I say always, like, always, like floor. Because like at that whatever. point, at that point, you don't even need chicken. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Except you, you know, you need to last the thirty seconds to, or 30, 30 minutes to unlock every like the. Oh, yeah, there you go. Um, you um, you said that you don't. Didn't you say you have to do something specific with the with the clock item to kill death? And go like beyond um, thirty minutes. No, like there's a thing where you can like you get certain things if you last for thirty one minutes. And I was using the like the clock lancet. Yeah. And um. Ah, oh, what is it? Um, maybe just like the like something that like will freeze them, or whatever. Yeah. Oh, oh, the clock lancet and the um. Uh, what is like the green thing? The um, the spinach. No, the one that like makes so you can take a bunch of extra hits. Oh, the laurel. Yes. So if you if you max out that and the the clock lancet, then you will freeze death, and then he'll like come after you again, and then he might attack you a few times, but he won't be able to attack you enough to kill you before he gets frozen again. And then it recharges. So that makes it easier to last the 31 minutes. So that's about as far as you can go. Because after 31 minutes, then it starts spawning like additional deaths. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like something like a, an extra, like every like, like 20 seconds. Or is something. it like kind of cool? Like what you end up doing to get credits or is it just kind of like, oh, suddenly credits? No, I mean, it, there's like a definite final boss. Oh, interesting. But it was actually like the last thing that I ended up doing. And you can actually get credits like way before. So. Interesting. Anyway, is that going to do it? Yeah, for this that'll week? do it. Uh, thanks everybody who uh, donated tonight and uh, for sticking around. I know I was a little, little low energy. Um, I guess I kind of got a little second wind here at the end. Uh, just as a reminder, we are going to be at the um, Nashville Music City Multicon next weekend, and there won't be a stream next week. 
next Sunday. Yeah. Because of that. I mean, I'm just going to, we're going to be tired out. I got to drive, drive back. You're going to be driving I mean, back. I don't even know like if I'll be home. I don't like even know if I'll be home. I probably won't drive. be home by stream time. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's been a little bit since we, uh, missed one, but that's, that's the way it, but if you're, if you're in the area, you should come come and see us hang out. Yeah. And I hope everyone has a great week ahead of them. All right. Good night, Good night everybody. <laughs>